Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready.
Sega Genesis Jazz. How do they do it? Data East, that's how I suppose. Are we actually gonna stream Minnesota Fats on Saturn? You better fucking believe it. Um, what happened here? Bluto is raided with a, with a thick-ass party of 28. Populous Wild Man has followed. Feli and Zetsu Bear have both hosted. Thank you, thank you very much, everybody. Hello, we're back again. Yeah, oops, all Data East. Can't stop me sneaking Data East video games into these fucking streams. It's pure coincidence. I don't know how that happens. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, Bador SNK, thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow. What am I doing? I've already forgotten how to stream. I streamed on. Yo, Tin Pot, thank you for the host. I streamed literally two days ago. I've already forgotten how to stream. Yo, what's up, Adam? All right, so we're gonna play some full motion. Uh, we're gonna play some full motion nonsense today. Yeah, all the data in the east. I realized that there are a lot of. I realized that there's a lot of people inside that host led by Gloria. Thank you so much, Gloria. Yo, know, twenty as well. Twenty, twenty. It's one of those. We'll never know. It's a mystery. We're gonna play mostly. We're gonna play mostly some FMV sportery today. Yo, Sega Zoom with the 8,000 years in a row. I can't believe it. Because I wanted to play Minnesota Fats Pool Legend today. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, excuse me. Hold on. Because I wanted to play Minnesota Fats Pool Legend today. And then I realized there's some other similarly incredible FMV games. I figure we'll just play a bunch of these. Uh, <laughs> we'll try not to. We'll try not to get sidetracked too often, but... Yeah, let's play a minute. Let's just let's just start with the let's just start with the best game ever made. Why not? Fuck it. Here we go. I gotta. What do I gotta do? I gotta put this here. For people who don't know, Minnesota Fats Pool Legend is a video game based on the real person playing a fictional character, Minnesota Fats, also known as a uh, what's the guy's actual name? Rudolph Wanderone, I think. He uh inherited the name Minnesota Fats after a movie he saw that had a character with the same name. <laughs> and that should just go, yeah? That should just work? All right, we're in. It has to capture first, though. There we go. Presented by Data East. Ooh. Oh, I'm in. Let the game intro explain everything. You're absolutely right. I guess we have to just let this rock for a while until the demo plays. Stream makes good company while you cook, yo. <laughs> yo, but do I think for the host? I guess we should just sit here for a minute and see if like a demo plays. There should be like an intro cutscene. Here we go. He was born Rudolph Walter Wanderone Jr. in 1913 in the Washington Heights section of New York. He is perhaps the most recognizable figure in the history of pool. Although he has never won a formal world championship, wow. Wanderone, better known as Minnesota Fats, has probably done more for the game of pool as a publicity generator and spokesperson than any player in the history of the game. In the 40s and 50s, Wanderone made a living as a streetwise card shark, pool hustler, and master of the proposition. He was known back then as New York Fats, Brooklyn Fats, and Double Smart Fats. It wasn't until the Paul Newman Welcome film The, the Hustler Fantasy hit the theaters in 1961 that Wanderone changed his name to Minnesota what a shot! Fats. The title used by the portly pool hustler, portrayed by Jackie Gleason in the movie. Like the Gleason character, Wanderone had a reputation as a high roller. But unlike the subdued fats portrayal in the film, Wanderone is a man of many words. He has a billion stories and anecdotes about the game he has played since he was five. Pool's the greatest game on earth, says Wanderone. You can put two eight-year-old kids 
friends on a pool table and go to Europe for a week. When you come home, those two kids will still be at the table playing pool. If you ask the average man in the street to name the greatest pool player of all time, chances are he'll say Minnesota Fats. Will they? It doesn't matter whether you pose the question to a skilled player or to someone who doesn't know the difference between a cue ball and an eight ball. Minnesota Fats is to pool what Muhammad Ali is to boxing. Minnesota Fats was inducted into the Billiard Congress of America's Hall of Fame for meritorious service in 1984. Minnesota Fats, the greatest pool hustler the world has ever known. All right, some of this, some of these facts may be exaggerated slightly. <laughs> Let's play the damn video game. Now that we got that out of the way, I guess we don't need to say anything about Minnesota Fats. The intro's got it covered! Oh shit. Welcome to Minnesota Fats. Choose your mode. All uppercase letters. Excellent. Got a tournament mode, which I think is the only way to play nine ball. So we're probably gonna have to do probably gonna have to do a little bit of this so we can play some nine ball because I think the entire story mode is eight ball. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's go into the story mode. I'll tell you why. The, I'll tell you why the story mode is significant. We, it's because of the cutscenes. And uh, let's just let's just enjoy them, shall we? Fats, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Fred. I'm waiting for Junior. He's supposed to stop by sometime today. Hey, Pops, Fred. Junior, how have you been? Sit down. You have a seat too, Fred. Junior, I've asked you to come here today for a reason. You know that I've spent all my life hustling pool halls. Well, my reputation. <laughs> People now call me the uncrowned king of pool. Yeah, so what's the point? Well, before I became known as a king of pool, there was this kid named Big G. He used to hustle all of my establishments. Oh, Big G. And using all sorts of nasty tricks. And I taught him a pretty good lesson by beating him in his own game and winning all of his earnings. Now I hear that recently, he's come back to stink up my pool halls again. <gasps> Not alone, but with his boys. That's interesting, Fats. Can we hurry this up? Junior, don't be obnoxious with me. I'm the one known for that. Anyway, I would really like to beat G in my old-fashioned style. But I've grown too old for hustling. So this is where you come in. Well, I know how good you are. I taught you a lot of my own tricks. I want you to find Big G and teach him a lesson for the second and last time. You know, Fats, you're always asking for trouble. But if you want me to, OK, I'm game. I assume that's it. Well, see you later, Fats. I got a bail. Take it easy, Fred. It gets better, though. It gets so much better. <laughs> Fats! Fats! Fred! Watch it! Don't break the door! Junior's got himself in trouble. Look at this. Junior! I can't believe he actually joined up with Big G! What happened? I got a... What a stop Fats, you're not going yourself, are you? Big G's a pretty big guy these days. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Basically, when you want to get things done right, you got to do it yourself, Fred. A hustler hustles for the love of the thrill and the skill. Money is there to enhance the thrill, not to drown in it. Big G and Junior are winning simply because they're cheating. That Junior better come back with me. Watch the hall for me when I'm gone, Fred. <sighs> oh, fuck, this game is good. WHAT HAPPENED?! <laughs> yeah, we did 30 takes, this was the best one. Oh, we're going to Los Angeles. Yo, what's up, Kojin?
you think you're going? Oh, Minnesota fat? I guess. There's no reason why you can't come in. Beth, <laughs> is that you? Why, are you here to join up with Big G and company, too? Oh, I see. So you're after Big G. Well, in that case, let's just see if you've got the stuff. You know me. I don't let easy money just walk on by. Come on. All right. We actually get to play the video game. So... I don't know if people need an explanation on how billiards works, but... For this first bit, the lag, whoever gets closer... Oh, I gotta click inside the window, that's pretty important. Whoever gets closer to the end of the table they start to don with this shot here, whoever gets closer to the right side of the table, that's who gets to go first. Oh, immediately hot pool jams. So somebody in the chat, uh... Somebody in the chat asked if this was related to Side Pocket, the Data East Billiards series. Yes. The Japanese title of this video game is Side Pocket 2, Densetsu no Hustler. True story. Alright, we're playing Stripes. I can't imagine we have to explain how 8-Ball works, but just in case somebody doesn't understand, is the game dubbed in the Japanese version? Yeah, they dub it over in Japanese. Same cutscenes. Ah, shit. No, we still pocketed a stripe. We got it. Have I gotten bodied since the stream started? This is actually the first, uh... This is the first game. In <laughs> Minnesota Fats, no pool, no poking. <laughs> So whoever pockets the first ball in a game of 8-Ball, whether it's a stripe or a solid, that determines whether you're playing stripes or solids. Since we pocketed a stripe on our break shot, now we're playing stripes. So every every striped ball, that is, every ball that's 9 and higher, we need to pocket exclusively those. And then once we run out of those, then we can go for the 8-Ball. Yo, I agree, running wild. Oh, she's good! Oh, she's good. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Alright. Oh, that almost went in anyway. She's almost too good. Let's see here. This feels about right. Ah, shit! We're not- we're not a pool hustler. We're not... We're no good at pool hustling. We gotta get better. Now, if either of us pocket the 8-ball by accident... If either of us pocket the 8-ball by accident, we automatically lose the game. So that is the thing that we most want to avoid. Maybe it's time for us to join Big G! Damn that Big G! He took Junior! We gotta stop gotta stop this uh we could just do this and see what happens we got a lot of stripes on the left side of the table but yeah how are uh, how are y'all doing today I realize this is some weird- I realize this is some weird shit that does not align with our normal programming. But that's fine. Here we go, this is the play. That wasn't the play. Ah shit, we pocketed the eight ball, we lost. We're no good at pool, Chad Room. That's okay though, because we get a, we get a special cutscene for each opponent when we lose. We lost half a million dollars. Oh, Fats, there's no way you're gonna be Big G like that. What a waste of my time. Why don't you just leave me your wallet and get out of here, will ya? Uh, and don't bother coming back. Damn! We're never gonna beat Big G at this rate, chat room. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> a 
We've got three credits. Well, let's, uh... Let's just back that up. We don't need to spend a credit on the first opponent if we can just start the story mode over. <laughs> I know, we made him sad. We made our boy Fats really sad. How are we gonna beat Big Gamer? Damn it. Alright. Let's try again. That feels good. Yo, basically touch the other end of the table. Easy. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Here's the play. Here we go. We're gonna break it like this. Something like this. Here we go. I right, pocketed the two ball. Right, we're playing solids then. You got it. It's also important to note, just in case people don't know how 8-ball works, if the first ball the cue ball touches is not the one that you are playing. So if we were to hit a stripe before we hit a solid, it would automatically be the other player's turn. It would forfeit our turn. That is an illegal move. I think that covers just about everything. 8-Ball is actually not very complex. Oh yeah, we'll get to the gimmick shots. Kinda look forward to Mahjong. I, I'll be honest with you, Chief. I have no earthly idea how Mahjong works. Yeah, let's play the long ball right here. This is the play. Greatest of ease. So we can try this angle. We can definitely try this angle. Uh, we'll hit the we'll hit a solid, but there's a chance that we'll hit the eight ball first because the eight ball is right in front of us. And I don't think hitting the eight ball counts as hitting a solid. So we probably have to forfeit our turn unless chat room. Unless, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see that we can apply spin to the cue ball. If we go all the way to the top, there's a jump. We can jump the cue ball. So we're gonna jump over this eight ball. Whoa! Nah, that's what we call a pro gamer move. That's a little bit less of a pro gamer move. I want so badly for her to sink the eight ball on accident. That's what I want. I want to see it. I want to see it happen. Here we go. Shit! He has the mid-90s. This game came out in 95, I think? 94, perhaps? Eight ball is once again in the way. We can make this work, though. Oh, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't hit a damn thing. Now, when we do an illegal move, it's called a scratch. When you get a scratch, yeah, we overjumped. Whenever you scratch, your opponent is allowed to place the ball wherever on the table they want. Excuse me? What was that shit? Oh, she's good. Oh, she's good. <laughs> out gamered Damn, she's got all the tech. Here we go. That's what we want. That's what we'd like to see. Another one. Oh fuck. 
Well, I got the brown ball pretty close to the side pocket, so that'll be pretty easy to sink when we get another turn. Don't you even. Don't you even. Alright, it's gonna be a little more difficult to sink it now. You've placed a ball directly in the way. That's fine. Here we go. Pro gamer move. We gotta land this in the gap. Somehow. Shit! That's not how we do it. That's not how we do it. We're gonna get better at this as we progress. Oh, she's jumping it? Oh, she's good! Oh, she's really good! Oh, fuck. This is the first opponent, too. This doesn't bode well for our pool future. <laughs> I got hustled. We're, we're definitely getting hustled right now. Here we go. This is the angle. This is the play. Oh, shit. We're gaming now. Another one. All right. Call your shot. When it's just down to the eight ball, when the only thing that you have to pocket is the eight ball, you have to select which pocket you're going to sink it in. There we go, that's how you do it. Instant replay. Gotta have instant replay. Yo, we got a million dollars. Feels pretty good. Hey, Fats, you're okay. So where to now? Oh, that's right. You're after G. Well, I'm warning you, you got some brushing up to do before you can even try hustling Big G. What do I know about him? Well, I know the man and your little junior own this cool pool bar. They've been hustling rich tourists and eating them alive at this dive. <laughs> You're okay. Get in. Oh, we're going to Vegas! Yes! Fats! How you doing? Long time no see. It's me, Diamond, your old pal. What are you doing here in Mr. G's pool bar? Me? Well, I've joined the man. Big bucks, you know what I mean? You see, I'm not the Diamond you used to know. I've become quite a player in my own way. And as you can see, it's become rewarding. Now that I've caught you here, you're not going anywhere without crossing cue sticks with me. <laughs> I've always wanted to see Minnesota Fats go broke. Especially if I got to pocket the money. It would also up my reputation as a pool shark. Come on, join me. For old time's sake. <laughs> I don't think I want to cross pool sticks with you. Can I? You, you couldn't have found a worse way to word that. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yo, I was almost perfect! Look, this fancy rip table, though. All right, all right, we got a fancy red table. Here we go. Pocked it a solid. I'm surrounded by stripes. Absolutely surrounded by stripes, okay. Alright. Alright, it's time to game. Here we go. Just jump over this mess. Whoa. Go in! Yes! Wait, wait. Line it up. There we go. Oh, we're cooking now! Wow, Diamond is trash. Nothing went in. Alright. We don't have much of a play here, though. <laughs> uh... Let's see. 
Let's see, we can go... Alright. Alright, if we hit it about here, hopefully the ball will go, like, to the right, but also slightly up, right? And then it'll go into the top right corner pocket, maybe. Let's see if it works. There we go. There we go. We're gaming. That's how we do it. It's a game of angles. Okay, I touched it. I touched it, at least. We didn't scratch. <laughs> I'm godlike at this. Uh, I'm not convinced. But I can tell you that I did have side pocket for the Genesis when I was a kid. And this game is, you know, this game plays exactly the same as that does. It just has cutscenes in it. This is a... This is part of a this is part of a series of billiards video games by Data East called Side Pocket. Side Pocket 3, it is worth noting, has a Resident Evil style tank control adventure mode, and we are going to get to that someday. But today though, Focusing on FMV bullshit. That's what we've got here. Uh, we gotta jump over this 12. Gently, though. Damn it. That's alright, we can get that in easily. What's my opinion of Lunar Pool? Is that the, uh, the NES game? I haven't played it. Yeah, Jeffrey! Break out Lucille. <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes of Fresh Prince, not gonna lie to you. Alright, are we- uh, at least we set that up for a future shot. Yeah, this game had a Genesis version as well, and it's essentially the same, yeah? The story mode, obviously there's not full motion video cutscenes, but all the characters are there. It's the same video game on Genesis, just got different music, different cutscenes. Oh no, I've pocketed a stripe on accident. I've done you a favor, you bitch. It's all right, we're ahead of the game though. There's three stripes left. There's three stripes left, but there's only two solids. I don't have much of an angle on any of these. This game may have pool, but does it have a Sunset Riders room? I fucking wish, man. This motherfucker, Zallard, made a Sunset Riders-themed room in Animal Crossing. And I'm absurdly jealous. I almost purchased the game on the spot. You sunk the eight ball, you fool! You absolute buffoon! We done it. Gamers, we got him. Bats, you haven't changed a bit. You know, I gotta tell you. I originally joined Big G because I was envious of you as a pool player. I thought I could be big in a different way. I also thought I could really beat you this time. But I guess you've proven me wrong. Big G? Well, I guess he's over at that other pool hall of his. Uh, here's the address. I guess your boy will be there too. Oh, we're going to New York. Eyedrop is here somewhere. That's just the man I've been waiting for. Welcome to my private pool parlor. Girls, could you please excuse us for a second? Uh, Mr. Fats and I have some business to discuss. Well, Fats, it's been a long time. You know, that boy of yours is a pretty good hustler, you know? I can't tell you how happy I am just to take him under my own wing. 
Yeah, we made some serious bucks together, and bucks are what makes this world go round, man. Since you're here, I'd like to cut you in, too. You know, make you part of the winning team. You know, uh, make it look sort of like a family reunion. So why don't you think about it over a little friendly game of four, huh? Come on. Believe it or not, we're already at Big G. <laughs> Big hyphen G. Let's do it. Oh no. Oh, he's good! Oh wow, that was exactly even. That was exactly even. Let's try again. This shit is rigged. Okay. We got him. <laughs> the Minnesota Fat Session went well. <laughs> Let's hit the let's hit it right about right about here. Absolutely nothing went in, I understand. Shit. What? Yo, Tilfin has subscribed at tier one for eleven whole years. I can't believe it. Sleeping for 28 hours of the day, I wish. Oh, fuck. This is a really hot jam, actually. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We gotta do one of these moves. Oh, fuck. We're messing up the easy ones. Damn that big G. No, you can't make this shot. You can't make... Oh, he's good. Let's go for the easy one. Here we go. Here we go, baby steps. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, we're gaming. Oh, we're gaming super hard right now. I'll take that. We take those. Here we go. Here we go. Side pocket, baby. Easy. Easy skins. All right, now what the hell do we do? We gotta try and cut this. Gotta try and cut this perfectly. Uh -huh. Shit! Is Minnesota Fats the guy from the Great Ragtime Show? Absolutely. The, uh, the, the Data East shmup or whatever. Boogie Wings. <laughs> Down one. What are you doing? What are you doing, Big G? You fool! You've fallen for one of the classic blunders! Oh no. I've also fallen for one of the classic blunders. Yo, pocket that eight ball. <laughs> what would be easier? Oh, what's the right angle? This feels about right. Ooh, got it. So we've got to hit this, but we want to we want to dodge the we want to dodge the eight ball for now. We don't want to accidentally sink the eight ball. Let's try and get this to work. There we go. Oh, we're in there. That's game. That's a hundred percent game. Big G, you fool. Got him. Oh, 
four million dollar he dues. Well, Fats, you hustle me broke. You're good, Fats, you're real good. The uncrowned king still reigns. You know, it'd be a pity to let someone of your skill just leave. So, if you join up with me, I'll show you how to put that skill to some real use. So what do you say, huh? No? Why, I treat you with respect, hospitality, and goodwill. What do I get in return? You even hustle me out of my own limousine. Why, I ought to... <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta be carried away. Take the gun away, too, if you want. What, your boy? I sent him off to my other pool hall for a while. Hopefully, he'll bring back enough dough to, to make up what I just lost. Okay, Fats. Now, could you be so kind and spin me some change so I could catch a bus? Why would I give you bus fare? You pulled a gun on me. Fuck you, Big G. Oh, we're going to Atlantic City. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Thought you'd never make it this far. Junior! Well, what do you think? Hustling sure can make big bucks if you do it right. Well, I guess I learned that one from you. Look, Fats. I'm not Welcome your little junior anymore. I ready. think I've become quite the ace on my own. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. If I win, you leave all your belongings with me. You go back on your own, you let me run my life. If you win, my future's yours. No questions asked. What does that mean, Junior? Oh, we gotta teach this- we gotta teach this kid a lesson. I can't believe he betrayed us. He betrayed us. Damn, we kissed the edge of the table. Oh, that's a hot jam. So this is the actual final boss, Junior. Yo, got the one ball. I saw the one ball go in. We're playing solids. Here we go. No mirror match. Fats versus like shadow fats. <laughs> Shin fats. That's what we did. Ah, fuck. Yeah, there's only four opponents in story mode. Listen, there's no time for more FMVs. The game ships tomorrow. What are you doing, Junior? You fool. You haven't learned a thing. I don't have much of a- I don't have much of a play here at all. We go for the world's shittiest, uh, we go for the world's shittiest jump shot. We have to try and hop it past the four very gently. Huh. Yeah! <laughs> hmm. Alright. Alright. Alright, what do we do? How do we hit any solids from here? Whoop. Oh no, here- this is the angle, here we go. This is it, this is the play. Yes! Oh no. Okay. Mr. Fats is going nuts. Thank you for the follow, uh, who was that that followed? That was a couple people that followed. It's good to see all that side pocket training from my youth has paid off. It really does play just Welcome like side pocket for the Genesis. Get ready. Yo, Mr. Sleeps, thank you for the follow. Oh no, oh no, Junior's going nuts. What are you doing, sir? Nice curve. Oh no, he's good. Oh, he's good! 
Oh no! Oh, not like this! <laughs> nice shot, Junior! <laughs> nice! Who was that that followed? Hold on. Me. Robo Bo and Almacia and Papa Crit have all followed. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, what a whiff I says. Uh oh. Don't stink the eight ball. Okay, that was close. That could have been awful. That didn't go quite how I planned it. It's alright. He can sink this one pretty easily, but that one across the table? I don't see him sinking that from here. Unless he's about to do a pro gamer move. He almost did a pro gamer move. I was gonna cry. I was, I was definitely gonna cry if that went in. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Now we've got to go for, we've got to go for like the bottom. Got to go for this pocket down here. See if this works. Shit! It's all right. He still has to pocket that stripe first. Let's see if he's got. Let's see if he's got the talent. You don't got what it takes, Junior. You've set me up perfectly, you fool. You dunce. We did it, we won. Unfortunately, the game's not over, chat room. Because you see, we didn't take all of his money yet. That match was for four million dollars. We only had four million dollars. You've got to win. You've got to beat them twice in a row. All right, we're playing solids again. It's the run back. Uh, this might work. Oh no. Did I hit a stripe or a solid first? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not best of three. Because if he wins, then he gets his $4 million right back, and then we have to win two again. Junior. That's forbidden. That's an illegal move, Junior. He must have learned that from Big G. Taught this kid everything he knows is the thanks I get. Don't you dare curve it. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, he's good. <laughs> Everything he's doing is illegal. Can we get can we get a ref on that? Can we can we call a referee? See what the referee thinks. That's not quite how I wanted that to go, but it's right next to the pocket, at least. Is this best of three? No, we have to take all his money. We can only take his money four million dollars at a time. And likewise, he can only take our money four million dollars at a time. So if we lose this one, we're right back where we started. Twelve million dollars are at stake.
You pocketed the one ball, you fool! You survived grocery shopping for another week? Congrats. You've done it, I'm proud of you. Here we go. With the greatest of ease, baby! I almost sunk the eight ball. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> I almost lost on the spot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. The eight ball is in a position where maybe Junior will sink it on accident. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. You're good. Scratch. Scratch, you coward! He did it. He actually scratched. We get to place this ball wherever we want. Here we go. Na na na. Na 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 na. Yeah, that eight ball is a ticking time bomb. I agree. Excuse me? Excuse me? That was a solid? That didn't count? Excuse me? J Excuse me? Oh, it's gotta go past the start line, okay. Never mind, I learned something about pool today. There was a rule we neglected to, to realize. It's fine, we just gotta sink these three- we gotta sink these three solids. Nah, that's a pro gamer move. How good is this angle? Maybe. Hey, you're right. Minnesota Fats should really know better. That was all on him. Maybe. Maybe. Whoop. I don't think he has a play on that stripe right now, though. I don't see him sinking that stripe from here. <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> oh, he's good. <laughs> Holy shit, Junior. He was five steps ahead. The set continues. We're not leaving until somebody's broke. You pocketed nothing. You pocketed nothing. Good day, sir. There we go. <laughs> We're in debt eight million dollars. All right, we got a couple solids in useful places. Ideally, we get him to somehow sink the eight ball on accident. That's what I really want. But something tells me that Junior is... Something tells me Junior is too smart for that. Oh my sweet Jesus. Stop it. Arrest this man. Yeah, <laughs> he only knows one trick. It's a very good trick. There we go. Let's get that two in. Ah, shit!
You don't have a play. You don't have a play on any of these stripes right now. All right, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Maybe I'm bluffing. Shit. Can we get now thinking as a Franker face emote? Ooh, yes. That's a good idea. I think we should. I think we should do that. Ha. Let's go for let's go for this one right here. This is the this is the angle. Oh now we're cooking. Alright, we're not quite we're not cooking as much. There's only one solid left though. We've only got one more solid to sink. Junior, you fool! You've fallen for one of the classic blunders. All right. Yo, Jumbo Donut, thank for the host. The set continues. This is... This is an endurance. Here's the problem, though. Round two, Junior, is absurd. You can beat him one game, but can you beat him two? Are right, we playing Stripes? Let's go... Let's go over here. Damn it! I just noticed Junior's smug-ass portrait in the corner when it's his turn. Nice scratch. Nice job, Junior. Proud of you. Let's just go for the easy money. Easy as can be. There we go. Is this the angle? This feels good. This feels right. Huh! Shit! Almost. He's thinking. He's thinking real hard. What do you got? You got nothing. You got nothing, Junior! You don't got what it takes. Oh no, I don't got what it takes. Wait, wait! I got what it takes. I've tricked you all! There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know, Daisy. We gotta stop talking shit. We are gonna, we're gonna regret, we're gonna regret talking all that good shit. All right, hop over the one. Hop over the one. Whoop. Go, go, shit. We should have put more juice on it. Yeah, I know we're gonna sink the eight ball on accident. We better not. We've been doing so well. Junior. Junior, are you okay? Are you drunk? There we go. How many do we got? We got the 14 and the 15. That's it. We got two stripes to sink. We got two more stripes to sink. That's it. Damn it. Yeah, he's got stage fright. He's not cut for the, he's not cut out for the big leagues. All right, he might be cut out for the big leagues. No, I was I was joking, Junior. Junior, I'm begging you. Junior, I'm streaming right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> His fucking smug ass face is too good. <laughs> There's a lot of solids bundled up by the eight ball, though. Don't you dare. I see you scheming up. Oh, he's good. <laughs> yes, son, please don't embarrass me on stream. Junior, please. Oh, no. Oh, he's good! What are you doing? Don't you dare. Don't you... Yo, sneak thing for the host. We, we talked too much shit. We talked way too much shit, chat room. Now we have to pay for it. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Let's bring it back to Nooch. Let's bring it back to neutral. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. I see you panicking in the chat room right now. I assure you, everything is under control. Shit. Oh, he's good. You can't do it, Junior. You don't got what it takes, Junior. You can't sink this shot. No, I don't think you can. Alright, I lied. <laughs> I like how we keep- we keep playing for the same four million dollars. We just keep trading the same four million dollars over and over. <laughs> Keep in mind, the one CC is still alive. We haven't lost one. We haven't lost an actual, uh, we haven't, like, game overed yet. We would have to, we'd have to game over to have to use a credit. We're still, the one CC is alive. That being said, uh, excuse me? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's time for dead ass finals. I'm a little upset that every tournament doesn't use dead-ass finals for, like, the grand finals reset. It's such a better name for it. Oh, wait, I'm Stripes. What am I doing? I'm Stripes. I thought I was solids. We fucked up. It's alright, he can't do anything from here. Deadass Finals is what they're calling the last matches of the next DOA tournament. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen a DOA tournament being streamed. I'm sure there's been one. That's a good shot. It's a good shot you've made there. Proud of you. This feels about right. That wasn't about right. That wasn't quite what I wanted. It's all right. All the solids are barricaded by the stripes. He can't hit a he can't hit a solid without also hitting a stripe. This is gonna cause a mess, let's do it anyway. Alright. Yeah, Junior lulls us into a false sense of security. Alright, I see the easy shot. I see the easy shot. The path is clear. Head empty. No thoughts. Only billiards.
Yo, still Sunka Stripe. Let's go. Another one. Hear me out. Another one. I missed entirely. <laughs> I missed entirely. <laughs> I went for two. I went. I dreamed too high into the sky on that one. <laughs> You've pocketed a stripe. And you scratched it anyway. Oh no, that was supposed to be the easy one. You were the chosen one. Was that the 10 ball? The 10 ball is a traitor. Yeah, we diddled ourselves on this one. It's all right, I don't see him making any big plays. The eight ball is in motion. I don't like when the 8-ball is in motion. No, don't worry about it, Bob. It's fine. Everything's under control. Nobody panic. Everything is fine. Here we go. Here we go, we're gaming. Observe the technique. Here we go. We gotta call our shot. We're going top right. Here we go, top right, corner pocket. This is it. I don't know if... Uh-oh. Now, this doesn't feel like enough, and this feels like too much. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, there we go. We got him. Oh, we're back in. We're back in. But can we do it again? <laughs> Welcome back to Deadass Finals, the third. <laughs> the very, very deadass. The very, very deadass finals. Nothing went in. I don't like it. How many rounds is this? We keep going until somebody is broke, Strange Vision. We keep fighting over the same $4 million. Somebody has to win twice in a row for this to end. I dropped some frames. I saw it happen. What are you doing, Junior? What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me? He's thinking. He's thinking with portals. Here we go. Okay. We're playing stripes. Let's make sure we're playing stripes this time i see the word stripes at the top of the screen that indicates that we're playing stripes this time okay how can i hop can i hop over this can i very gently hop over this and hit the 11 ball very gently yes running this table. Gonna run this shit out of this table. We could try! Alright, let's see what happens here. <laughs> I found a very elaborate way to scratch. <laughs> that was a pro move right there. <laughs> oh, he's scheming. 
He's scheming on that three ball. Oh, no. Oh, he's going. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. That almost worked. I was going to cry. There were going to be tears. That's what we like. That's what we like to see. Yo, it's a boner weed. Yeah, we're playing pool. Let's see here. That's pretty much dead on, so that's not going to work unless we spin it very slightly. I think we have to spin it slightly to the right. That way we hit it slightly more left. Maybe? I Maybe that's how this spin system works. Let's see what happens here. Okay. We might have had to put a little more spin on it. We went for, like, the minimum amount. What are you doing? What are you doing, kid? Alright, I shouldn't have doubted you. <laughs> I shouldn't have doubted him. <laughs> Scratch. Almost. Minnesota Fats and his protege locked in Mortal Kombat for all eternity. <laughs> Oh, you just gave me that one. Sure, I'll take it. I lied! You didn't give me shit, video game! <laughs> you tricked me. You tricked me, video game! What are you doing, kid? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Got the perfect horizontal bounce. I don't see you sinking this. I don't see you sinking this, Junior. Keep in mind, if he pockets it in, in the wrong pocket on accident, I believe he also loses. You can't do it, kid. You can't do it, kid! Let's see here. Whoa. He got the 15 out for us. Uh, let's try this one. Ha-ha! Ah, uh, almost. I don't think he's got a play on the 8-ball from here, though. Every time I say that, he proves me wrong, though. Oh, shit. No, that actually does kind of work. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Fuck. He's good. We're still swapping these four million dollars. <laughs> we keep swapping the same four million dollars. This is like, this is a very unsanitary $4 million at this point. Oh, he sunk a solid, okay. I seen it. Yeah, welcome to the 24-hour fat stream. We're not leaving. We're not leaving until Junior is dead. You fool. All right, all right, let's go for... Hit this into that one, and then it just goes in. It didn't just go in. We almost sunk a, we almost sunk a stripe in the top left corner, though. That could be useful for later. If all else fails, just crack the pool stick over, over Junior's head. 
I mean, Big G tried to resort to violence, right? If Big G could resort to violence, surely we can. Alright, that's not quite how I envisioned that shot going in my head. At least we've got some, like, smooth casino jazz to play, too. I can't complain. Oh, he's cooking, though. Yeah, the money was counterfeit. We've been playing for nothing this whole time. You've pocketed a stripe, you insolent wretch! Yeah, this is the angle. This is a good angle right here. There we go. I mean, I scratched it. But, you know, you saw the potential of that shot. You saw, you saw what that could have been. <laughs> Yo, sink the eight ball. You have- you've positioned the eight ball directly in my way. He's a genius. He's too good. He's too smart of a boy for us. He's the smartest boy that has ever been. I have a plan. I tried to hit the 8-ball. I tried to hit a stripe and then hit the 8-ball and then push the 8-ball into the purple stripe. <laughs> Does 8-ball count as neutral? Yes. You can only go after the 8-ball if it's the final ball that you have to uh, sink. There we go. I might have just done him a favor. What happens if you sink it in the break? It'd be pretty much impossible, I think, because they put it right in the middle. I guess it's possible if you get some, like, very lucky bounces. Presumably you just win if you sink it on the break. Oh, he's got a speed. He's got a speed, gamers. Oh, God. Delphin has gifted a sub to DZ Kujaku. 70, they've gifted 71 subs in this channel. How can that be? That's too many subs, my guy. All right, the 1cc is dead. I'll tell you why the 1cc being dead is okay. Because now we get to see what happens when we insert another credit. Well, Fats, that shows you, huh? I guess you're not as good as you think you are anymore. I was really hoping you'd be a bit more of a challenge. <laughs> well, now that you got rid of Big G for me, everything he owned as well as what you own is mine. Damn! <laughs> Here's a quarter, Fats. Get out of town. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right, 25 cent alert. I have an idea for a 25 cent alert. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we put in a credit. Because he's very sad right now, as you can see. <laughs> I need that. I need that as a gif. I need that. I need what he just did <laughs> as a gif.
Alright, we're back in. The battle begins anew. Yo, damn. Oh, we got nothing. Didn't sink a goddamn thing. <laughs> Spibble, here's a quarter. Now get out of town. Thank you, Spibble. I might have to, uh, I might have to do that. Might actually make that alert. Did you just sink two stripes in the same shot? Oh no, he sunk a solid and a stripe. Now he sunk a stripe. Okay, so he's playing stripes. Confirmed. Junior, I'm gonna need you to calm down. I'm gonna need you to calm your ass down, Junior. Well, he sunk a solid in there, too. I can't complain. He sunk the eight ball! He sunk the eight ball! We've diddled him again. All right, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, Dino wins without pressing a button. All I did was the break shot. I went for the break and I didn't sink anything and the rest was all junior. I can't sink a goddamn thing on these break shots. <laughs> yeah, let's get him to let's get him to dunk the eight ball again. If that's how we win, if we win this set because he accidentally pockets the eight ball twice in a row, it's gonna be great. I hope it happens. Eight ball is still in motion. I don't have much of a play here. I don't have don't have much of a play here unless unless we do a little tiny bunny hop over the four unless we do a tiny bunny hop over the four and we nudge this into the side pocket we're gonna have to do a little baby jump we're gonna have to do a very very tiny baby jump Hoop. okay now let's see what happens if we do this Junior got diddled. Take for the clip. Uh-oh. Oh, it's Junior time. Oh, he's about to go ham. I can feel it. Oh, no. Awakened Junior is back. Junior with malicious intent. Yeah, we're at dead-ass finals again. How can you do this to me, Junior? You were at my daughter's wedding. Oh! He's got those! <laughs> I'll take that. I know he keeps going for the mass save shots. He's too good. He's too powerful. We gotta go for the easy buckets when we can. Uh -huh.
Let's see here. Yeah, we gotta nerf Junior. He's too powerful. Let's see what happens if we do this. Sometimes you just gotta go for something and see what happens. How do you put English on the ball? You just hold the, uh... Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You just hold the, uh... The button down that displays the numbers. You just hold this button down and then you can apply... You apply English. The problem with the spin system in this game, though, is that it doesn't adjust the, like, preview line at all. So it's not really clear what will happen. When you... when you apply English. Hey, we take those. Absolutely take those. Side pocket, baby. Alright. It went in, but it didn't count. <laughs> that went right back. What have we played so far? This is the only thing that we've played so far. We're locked in combat with our protege, Junior. Yeah, let's see you make this happen. I want to see it. I want to see. I want to see what you got. I want to see you sink this, Junior. <laughs> oh fuck! He's got a plan. This isn't how this works, Junior. Junior, you fool. Yeah, we've been at a four million dollar stalemate for a while now. Alright, I scratched and I sunk the 8-ball. We can't possibly sink any lower than that. <laughs> that play should have cost us $8 million. We're back again. Yo, you got it, Tepid Snake. Somebody will triumph eventually. Alright, he's playing stripes. You got nothing, kid. You got nothing. I've never been more... Never been more emotionally invested in a video game before, I'll be honest with you. If every game had the twists and turns that this game had, the drama, the emotion, the world would be a better place. He's good. If every game had Minnesota Fats, I agree. I wish every game had Minnesota Fats. What a shot. What a play. You sunk a solid. I saw it. I can't do much with this, though. I can't do... I can't do a whole lot with this. Unless... Unless... It's time to go for a pro-gamer move. Something went in. I'm not sure what it was. I hope it was a solid... Alright, it was. <laughs> there we go. Now we're cooking. This might work. Oh, 
baby. Oh baby, a triple. <laughs> We're doing it. We're gaming. All we've got left is the five, but the five is surrounded by stripes and the eight ball. All right. We've got to go for a safety strat here. Oh, shit. We got to... We've got to somehow... We have to hit this ball, right? We got to hit this ball, but we need to not hit the eight ball. Oh, Jesus. We could try to go for a bass, eh? But we'd have to hit it very gently. Because it, if we hit the ball into the eight ball... Okay, here's the problem. Let me... Let me let's, let's think about this for a second. So if we try and hit this from this angle, right? We, we go over the top. We go over top, and then we hit the, the five ball. It might collide into the eight ball, and it might sink the eight ball. In which case, we lose. If we try to attack it from this side, the cue ball instead might bounce into the eight ball, which also pockets the eight ball, which also makes us lose. I think we've got to go for a little baby tap. And we got to go for a little baby tap. This is what we got to do. Got to uh, just tap it. Just tap it in. There we go. Solve my maze, Minnesota Fats. Billiards is wild. It is a wild sport. Oh! Oh, he's good! Can I not shoot him with G's gun? I wish we had that option, I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit almost worked. Did you see what he was scheming on just now? That almost worked? This is the play. This is the angle. I believe in this angle. All right. Now we've got to, I think we got to aim at this pocket, yeah. We've got to go for like one of these moves. Aha! Yes! Are we back to Deadass Finals? It's time for the very definitely Deadass Finals. Have I played other full motion games? Not today, no. We've been locked in combat with Junior for a while now, so we haven't gotten to anything else. Stripes. This is a stripe. I've seen a stripe or two in my day. This is one of them. Will there be more after this? You better believe it. Or it'll just be like a six hour Minnesota fat stream. All right, we went for something there. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, this has been the whole stream so far, PK something. You don't understand. You don't understand the stakes here. There's so much at stake. The emotional turmoil that we've had to witness just to get here. Scratch. Scratch, coward. is what it's all about. Sink that eight ball. Sink the eight ball! Yes! We did it, gamers. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Twelve million dollar dues. We did it. Man, Fats, that was quite a game. And I thought you'd grown old. Well, as I've always said, lay off me or you'd go broke. Just practice, practice, practice. Well, a deal's a deal. Let's go home. No, Junior, why don't you stick around and run this joint? I know you can make better use of this place than Big G did. 
and it'll do you a lot of good to be exposed to some of these pool sharks in this city. But get rid of this tux, Junior. A tuxedo on a pool player is like ice cream on a hot dog. <laughs> I agree. What does that mean, Fats? And then he just walks off into the sunset. There goes our hero. A true pool legend. <laughs> Fats Umar. <laughs> Yeah, it's gotta be Data East. Data East makes the best games of all time. This is known. This is known. It's not even close. Minnesota Fats was not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Damn, I wish this game had a laugh track during the cutscenes, though. Side Pocket was on the NES and the SNES and the Genesis, yeah. I had the I had the Genesis version. It plays a lot like this one. That's what I uh, I had that as a kid. It wasn't until much later in my life that I found out that there was a sequel, let alone a very very legendary sequel like this. Special thanks to Eric Wong, Luis, and all the gang at the Great Entertainer San Francisco. Yeah, somebody threatens us with a gun. That happened. That's what I. That's what I'm talking about, man. The emotional turmoil that it took just to get to Junior. There was actually only four opponents in the story mode, but they had to fit so much story into those four opponents. <laughs> Yeah, he buried the gun with a pool cue. Did we save G? We, uh... I guess so. Maybe he, like, starved and died in Vegas or wherever we left him. He was in New York, I think. He asked us for bus fare, but we didn't give him any. Because he tried to kill us. But that's fine. What else do we got in this game? We got a tournament mode. Let's do one single game of nine ball. Cause the entire story mode is nine ball. Or the whole story mode's eight ball. I wanna play nine ball, damn it! Here we go. Let me just play let me just play one best of three series in nine ball. Oh god, we're not we're not playing as fats. Tina the Stinger Smith. Tina, nobody is Diamond. named. Excuse me. Big G. None of these people are in this match. Junior. Oh no, you're just saying names now. Okay. We're apparently playing against the entire cast of the video game. So we're not playing as Fats. We're just playing as Justin. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the Q sheet. Oh, hell yeah, this is pool music. Yeah, boy! Now we're playing billiards. What the hell is this music? <laughs> oh, it got so much better. Can I get some rack howdies in the chat, please? Thank you. <laughs> Do we have to explain how Nine Ball works? I can't imagine we do. But just in case, Nine Ball is a completely different rule set in Billiards where there's nine balls total. You have to sync them in sequential order. So, the one ball's already been sunk. Now we have to go after the two ball. And then once we sink the two, we'd have to sink the three, and so on and so on, until finally it's time for the nine ball. However, 
if you happen to hit the ball that is legal right now, if we were to hit the two ball, because that's what we have to hit, if we hit the two ball into the nine ball, and then we sink the nine ball, that still counts and we immediately win. Uh, that being said, there's not really any way to do that from here. I almost gamed really hard right there. We almost did a gamer move. Yeah, yeehaw. This is some strange music for Nine Ball. This is very strange. Yeah, yeah, you're right, the opponent. The first ball that we the first ball that the cue ball touches has to be the the lowest one on the table. Let's see here. Do I have any way to hit this thing? Do I gotta jump it again? What if we here we go. No, I believe in this angle. This is the angle, I believe. Alright, nothing happened. <laughs> What if we sunk a 2 and the 8 ball? What's the next legal ball? It looks like the 3 is not on the table presently, so it would be the 4 at that point. Shit! Can I blame my character? Can I blame Justin for this? We're not playing as pool legend Minnesota Fats right now. We're playing as some jobber named Justin. That's what they call him, Justin the Jobber. Which Armored Core game is this? This is the one directly after Master of Arena. If I unlocked Robert Landolt, if this game had Robert Landolt in it, this would actually be the greatest game ever made. Yeah, I'm grooving to this music, not gonna lie to you. Everybody, is everybody in the chat go, uh, is everyone, has everyone gone insane yet? Because I'm getting there. I am, I'm swiftly getting there. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, oh, almost. Have I discovered secret cue stick installs? Pretty much all I know how to do is jump it. All the other fancy curves and shit. It's not very clear where it'll go ahead of time, so you'd probably have to lab it. Can you imagine labbing this video game? Honestly, I can. I'd lab this game. Oh no. What have I done? I've set him up. I've played myself. This isn't good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why are you jumping it? What are you doing? What are you do- Alright, hear me out. Hear me out. Just kinda... Eh. <laughs> now how the hell do we sink this? Uh... Alright, I believe in this angle. I believe in it. I believe. I, I believe too hard. You can't sink that. You can't make this shot. You don't got what it takes. You don't got the guts. You don't got the gumption. Alright, well, we can't do much with that either. <laughs> now hear me out, though. Check this out. 
Let's make it difficult for her. Oh, no, we didn't make anything difficult. We made this very easy. I tried to tap it and just let her deal with it. We've bamboozled ourselves. Never mind, she's not good at pool. Here we go. Shit! <laughs> I like how nobody can get in this nine ball. The curious case of the magnetic nine ball. Oh no. Don't do it! Okay. <laughs> this is the perfect music for this. This is the absolute perfect music. Eh. There, you figure it out. Oh no. Okay. I can make this work. Here we go. I'm absolutely losing my mind at this music right now. Shit! Oh shit! Oh, that's no good. That's no good. It's no good. We fucked up chat room. We fucked up. We fucked up big time. It's all right, though. It's all right. It's best of three. We're going back in. The real hoedown has just begun. <laughs> we scratched. Don't you dare raid Minnesota. The entire... <laughs> Don't you dare. That's how this stream is gonna have to end. My, uh... My moderators are gonna have to force the stream to end because I'm gonna refuse to play. I'm gonna refuse to stop playing Minnesota Fats, poor legend. Oh, all of a sudden we learned how to play pool. Hold on now. Hold on now. Breakout Lucille. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes! That's what we in the business call a professional gamer move. Oh no, this is the victory lap, K Price. We've already beaten we've already beaten Junior. This is something completely unrelated. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Sidori? Welcome to uh Welcome to the greatest game of all time. I can just imagine somebody arriving here from Twitter. And they immediately tune in, and they immediately have to hear this music. And they're just like, oh my god, we sunk the nine ball again. Can I retire? Can I retire now? Am I a pool, am I a pool god yet? <laughs> These portraits! <laughs> Justin Time Walker. Justin Time Walker. Tina the Stinger Smith. You're still saying all the names. Diamond. No, stop. Big G. I need you to calm down. Junior. No, none of these names are correct. Loses. Uh huh. Game set. Game set. Nine ball. Nine ball. Eight ball. Eight ball. One pocket. <laughs> Okay, we've gotten through the voice clips. <laughs> Tournament qualifiers. Oh my god, there's an entire bracket! That was just to get into the tournament. That was just to get into the tournament. There's a whole bracket. 
preliminary round. I'll tell you what, chat room. We're going to have to come back to that. We can't fight Peter right now. We've got some other games to check out. But I'll tell you what, though. We're going to come back to this game at some stage, and we're going to do that. We're going to run that bracket. That's what we're going to do. We're going to come back. We're going to come back to this video game. <laughs> yeah, they gave me top seed Peter in round one. That was, uh, that was a video game. Probably going to eBay this game now. I mean, it's, it's the best game ever made. Now, when I think of, like, FMV sports games, there's generally only one video game that immediately comes to mind. It's a game that we've played before, but there's probably a bit more people now. There's probably more people in chat now than there were before. There's probably... Probably, uh... Probably some people that hadn't seen the game before. So what we're going to do is we're going to revisit the salty run back of Slam City with Scotty Pippen. But this time we're going to play the CD32X version, which has slightly better quality graphics. Slightly better. Also, there's something wrong with the, uh, there's something wrong with the footage in this game. It's, like, very jittery sometimes, but we'll deal with it. Slam a, slam a city with Scotty Pippen. We're gonna check out all four opponents this time. That's what we're gonna do, because there's four, there's four opponents. We only checked out two, because we wanted to check out, like, 55,000 basketball games that stream. So we'll just go down the line. We'll play against everybody. We'll start with Fingers. You remember this game? Who streamed it, though? I wonder. It's a mystery. Yeah, I did, Jagger Freud. Digital pictures. This is not the last you've seen of digital pictures today. Oh, incoming, incoming jams! Uh oh. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on! What you gonna get? Gonna get respect. What you gotta get? Gotta get respect. What you wanna get? Wanna get respect. So how do you earn respect? Welcome to the. That's actually Scotty Pippen rapping. If you were curious. You have to fight Mad Dog. Yeah, we'll show off everybody. Smash. Yeah, we didn't play against Juice and we didn't play against Smash. Fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> Who was that? Who dares? Who did that? Super Sonic 94 has donated five dollars. Thank you. I can't believe you've done this. That's a bad foursome. I tell you what, dominate the court, earn some real respect. You and me will play one on one. What do you say? You got it, Scotty Pippen. Actually, we're not gonna have, we're not gonna be able to play against Scotty Pippen today because this game, for some reason, requires you to grind respect. You see how much respect we've got in the corner? Or you see how much respect we've got at the bottom of the screen? We've got one million respect right now or so? We have to get to, like, one billion respect before Scotty Pippen even looks at us, before he even gives us the time of day. And that would require grinding. So the only way to get to Scotty Pippen is to either play this for a thousand hours or to cheat. And we're not going to do either of those. You want some of this? You got it. Yo, let's go. What do you- what you got? We got fingers! Aha! You fool! Yo, let's get- What do you got? What you got? Oh no! <laughs> oh, he's good. Yo, for three. Easy. Easy bucket, never mind. 
That wasn't an that wasn't as easy of a bucket as I thought it would be. How the hell do you play this game? All right, so wait, hold on. Excuse me. My name is Smooth. Real smooth. All right, somebody asked, how do you play this game? Okay, where do we even start explaining how this video game works? Basically, you've got a you can, you can drive to the hoop by pressing a certain button. You press the uh, you press the B button at either edge of the screen to attempt to break to the basket. If you have timed it exactly perfectly, because there are only certain times where breaking to the basket works, and you're on the right side of the screen, you get a free dunk. The same works for stealing. If you're on the right side of the screen and you press the steal button at just the right moment, you'll steal the ball from them. The problem is, there's no clear indication of when those moments are. There's a lot of guesswork involved. Which, as you might imagine, makes the game fairly impossible to play. Oh, he's good. Oh my goodness, your defense is sorry! My boy Jeff here can DM better than that. Yeah! Yo, what you saying? You can DM better than that? Oh, you dissing my defense! <laughs> Excuse me? And as we're playing, things are just happening in the background. Things are just happening. Don't you dare. Oh, he's got a stroke. I don't like it. Yo, thanks for coming out to the stream, Tech. Girl, your feet must be tired. Why you say that? Because you've been constantly running through my mind. Brother, please. Oh, smooth. Smooth is not good at this. Yo, telegraph. Yo! Telegraph it. Yo, got him! There we go. It's first to seven. We're doing it. We're gaming. And while you're on defense, you want to kind of roughly just kind of stay in front of them as often as you can. If you lock them up for long enough... Your they get a shot clock violation. Yo, for three! Buckets. Damn, he's good. Alright, one more basket. Easy. Never mind. Never mind! Oh, we got the rebound! Okay. You got the rebound. Shit! Oh, no. He got the rebound. I don't like it. Oh, no! Oh, he's good! Yeah, imagine filming this. Yo, I need you to telegraph something. You go the other way. <laughs> Good shot, Ace. That was a really solid effort. <laughs> Yo, shot clock. Damn. I keep my knees up so people can see my kicks. You didn't think you were gonna win, did you? He ain't ready for the big boys. Are well, you looking Not for a big boy, Juice? <laughs> yeah, but all I see is you and Ace. We're not ready for the big boys. We're never gonna, never gonna meet Scottie Pippen at this rate. This is a disaster. And then the credits roll. We did it. We beat the video game. Shoutouts to Keith on, Newbert. Alright, we're going back in. 
But let's, uh, just so there's like a visual indicator, let's turn on training mode. We're gonna turn on training mode so that people in the chat room get a better idea of how this game works. While training mode is activated, you can see the exact moments on the side of the screen when you're meant to break to the basket. And you'll see how tight of a window you've got for some of them. Yeah, this will this will give the chat room the frame data. Now, on the left and right Welcome sides of the this. screen, you'll see the word break. Of, uh, you'll see the word break at certain points. Those are the exact moments you have to do that, like that. The catch, of course, since we're on training mode, we can't earn respect from doing this. So, training mode is solely used to acquire data. That's how you get the frame data. You don't get respect Ooh. doing this. Damn. What? Yo, we missed him. Fingers got you again! He's good. He's good. I don't like him. What does that mean, lady? Attack on Titan intro, but Scotty Pippen. It would probably make it a lot better, wouldn't it? All I wanna do, girl, is carry your books, hold your hand, and Walk you home from school. <laughs> He's still trying. Smooth is trying his absolute best. There we go. Down was easy. Somebody get smooth out of here. Somebody get smooth out of here. You can tell that he's not smooth because he calls himself smooth. Nobody who's actually smooth would call themselves that. Yo, let's go for three. Never mind. Let's go, Ace. Now, Fingers actually kind of telegraphs what he's doing. Like, you can clearly see the moments where you're meant to break. For, uh, for, for fingers, specifically, but some of these other opponents. You'll see that they just kind of throw your break opportunities. They just kind of... They kind of give you to them... They give it to you at moments that don't really match up with the footage. Fingers is probably the only person where it's kind of obvious. That being said, defense is pretty impossible either way. Yes, it is, Chroma. You better believe it. Got him. Yo, steal. I'm gonna steal. Let me steal. Aha! Got him. Yo, bro, where's my doll at? For what? Yo, Ace barely won. You bet on a blowout. Did I say that? Man, you're lucky my shoes didn't get scuffed. Yeah, stealing is an automatic basket. How much game can we buy with that? One whole game, I think. Just the one. But yeah, you would have to do... You would have to do this for a while. You'd have to constantly grind for respect. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Not to mention every time somebody scores on you, you lose respect. So it's really hard to... Yeah, it just ends. You see the credits after every single game. <laughs> All right, so we did that. Hold on. Let's check out the other opponents. We're just going to go in order, I guess. This is somebody that we did not play against before. That is not the correct one. That is a Sega CD. There we go. So this is disc two, because this is a four-disc video game. This is, uh, this is the Juice disc. We never played against Juice last time we checked this game out. Slam! We'll get cooked first, and then we'll turn on training mode afterwards, probably. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on! Oh, we're back again. Respect! Alright. 
Here's juice. This'll be good. Oh, I got the wrong disc in. Did I insert the wrong disc? Hold on now. Oh, I did. I did insert the wrong disc. I'm a fool! I'm a fool. I think I fixed it. Here we go. Juice activate. Juice is probably the hardest person in the game, not gonna lie. Probably the hardest. Boy, I'm gonna drink you like milk. What does that what does that mean, Juice? It's not clear ever when you can break to the basket against Juice. Oh, we got one though. We got one. What? Get the rebound! Yes! Let's just shoot it. Never mind. Another one. Another one! Hold on. Damn it! Yo, this is the greatest game ever made, DZ. The Slam City with Scotty Pippen. She's she's too good. I can't get a shot in. Yo, Day underscore, thank you for the follow. Yeah, Juice is pretty good. Her defense! Her defense is rock solid! Hold on. Here's the here's the plan. We're just gonna kinda run to the left and maybe it'll work. <laughs> Yo, it actually worked! Yo, how'd you do that? I don't know, Juice. I wish I knew. Watch this D. Watch this D. Here we go. Flawless defense. Here we go. Impervious. Never mind. Buckets. Are we a foot taller? I'm not convinced. Yo, I got a steal! Oh no. Brittany, right? Oh no. Yeah. Got a friend works at Super Rock FM. Get concert tickets to any concert. Front row. Well, why don't you take him then? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, hey, shut her down. I'm working on it. I promise you, I'm working on it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Buckets all day. Oh, we fucked up. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, no harm done. Easy. Easy money. You can't, you don't got what it takes. Never mind, she does. Are you okay, Smash? Is Smash okay? What's going on? What's going on with Smash? Oh no, I fucked up. Alright, game point. We're going for three. Here we go. Never mind. Hold on. I have a plan, though. She won't suspect that I'll go for three again. Hold on, though. She'll never suspect that I'd go for this three times in a row. Yo, I got the rebound! Whoa. Damn! You've been I've been juiced! We got juiced! Yo, let me get a break to the basket. Yo, let me get a break to the basket. Yes! We did it. Yeah, you won. But next time, you gotta hold a pose in that shot. You know, for coverage. I'll see you when you get off the court, punk. Oh, no. Are we in danger?
Is Juice gonna kick our ass off stage? Is, is, is she gonna is she gonna is she gonna kill us? She's gonna kill us when we're done? Oh no! This might be the last Dino Please stream. Juice is gonna kill us. Hey, we got a top score though. All right. Well, apparently I pressed the confirm button, so now it's just Dece instead of Ace. <laughs> I'm trying! I'm trying to buy some game. Who was that? Thank you, Nike. Thank you, Nike. Thank you, Mad Dog, for the five dollars. Feels good, though. I can't believe that worked. Usually I get absolutely cooked by juice. Yeah, that's what this is from. That's what the $5 alert is from. Tell you what, let's go say hi to Mad Dog, because we did that. Now we're on disc three, which is our boy. The man, the legend. I expected Juice to take several tries. I'm not going to lie to you. I expected that to take some time. Is there a separate disc for Scotty Pippen? No, there's actually not. I, I have no idea what disc Scotty Pippen is on. Probably disc one. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. What you gonna get? Gonna get Back again. What you gotta get? Gotta get He's on all of them. <laughs> one CD ROM cannot contain Scotty Pippen. You're right. Alright, let's see if we can beat Mad Dog. You're ball, Junior! I'm going for three immediately. Yo, hold that. Buckets. Never mind. Never mind. So here we go. Here we go. Break into the left. Never mind. It didn't work. Oh, no. Oh, Smash is up to something. Smash has a lamp. That's a good setup he's got. Oh. Oh? He seems upset. <laughs> All right, back to the match, I guess. Yeah, you got paid to do this. Stealing. Stealing. Never mind, we're not stealing. We're not stealing anything. See what you got, champ. Yo, easy. Go. What? I got a hand up. It didn't do anything. What's wrong, rookie? Can't hang? I can't hang. I definitely can't. It didn't it didn't taste good, mad dog. I love that. He won't suspect about he won't suspect I'll go for another one. Yo, easy. Never mind. Rebound! Oh, I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> I jumped the wrong way entirely. We have no respect right now. Oh, he's good. Hey! I'll take that. Can I get a steal? I'm gonna try a steal to the left gonna work. It's gonna work eventually. Yes! No, 
want to try to steal to the right. Never mind. We guessed wrong. <laughs> he's very, he's very powerful. I don't like it. We're running out of respect. Running out of respect very swiftly. Too good. Somehow I got that rebound. I don't know how I did it. He's an iron wall. He's an iron wall. We cannot, cannot score. All right, we got him. But can we get? Can we get a stop on defense? Let's go for the shot clock violation. Never mind. <laughs> it's a man's world. See ya. Is that all, is that all you gotta do? Is it that easy? I'm gonna take a basketball. Right, let's try that again. Your ball, Junior. Stole our respect and our girl. Was it ever established that that was our girl? I'm not entirely convinced. Holy shit! What a what a jam! Yeah, Junior. This is the same Junior from Minnesota Fats Pool Legend. This is what he was up to before. This is what he was up to before he got in the billiards. Rebound! Yes! Yeah, these are the origins. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what are these dunks? These dunks are ridiculous. Damn. Going for three. Going for three. Man, you went over you like a speed bump. Thank you, fingers. Thank you, it means a lot to me. Oh, I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> the sound of the respect counter is very strong. Oh, wow, he breaks to the basket immediately. We had no time to play D. Yeah, this is the Minnesota Fats extended universe. I mean, we don't have to establish that, it's known. Oh, man. He's too strong. He's too mad of a dog. Another one. Respect comes and goes in an instant in this in this video game. No, let me try again though. This is the one. Easy money. This Mad Dog is the same one from Mad Dog McCree. I believe you. I believe it. I don't think that's a compliment. No, I didn't. I just made another bet that's opposite of the last one, but for the same amount of the first one. Smooth is hedging his bets. Alright, let's try that with training mode. That might be the only way we can beat Mad Dog. We might have to activate training mode.
to get the frame data. Here we go. Your ball, Junior. What? Yo, easy. Yeah, we got a lab of this shit. Damn, if you're not ready, if you're not ready, he breaks to the basket as soon as he grabs the ball sometimes. Yo, what's up, Akari Allen? We're playing the best game of all time. What? Sadly, we don't get any respect for this. Just like in real life. I'll take that steal, though. Let's go give up the rock. Damn, you gotta be quick. Even with training mode on. See what you got, Ace. Absolutely nobody got that rebound. I'm seeing a theme here with Mad Dog. Quite often, if, you, if you're not already in the correct spot on defense, he immediately breaks as soon as he grabs the ball. I jumped the wrong way! Damn. Hey, you want some peanut butter with that jam? <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Get me out. I don't know what you're saying to me right now. I'm drowning in 90s slang. We gotta get a stop on D. You broke it down like me. What? Yo, that was it. Damn. Don't let him score, Ace. Trip him or something. Trip him? That's a foul. You're advocating cheating. There's probably no fouls in street ball. Can't imagine. Oh, strip him. That makes more sense. Damn, he's still too powerful. Call you later. Yes. Get the picture. You lost. There's no way in hell Mad Dog's gonna remember that phone number. There's no way in hell. Run it back. We're gonna get him. Your ball, Junior. Uh oh. That's yeah, true. There's no fouls. Only respect and lack of respect. I'm not sure that's what I want, Juice. I don't- that doesn't sound fun to me. The, the 90s were strange. <laughs> Yo, shot clock violation, here we go! Got him! Nice deep, baby. You get the ball back now. I'm aware of the rules of basketball, thank you. Rock. 
Yo, got him! You can't hold me. I can't, it's true. It's true, I can't hold him. Oh, we're gaming now. I like how even with the assistance of training mode, this game is difficult. <laughs> Try me again. That one taste. It didn't. It wasn't pleasant. Oh no, I jumped the wrong way. Are you okay, sir? I don't think he he seems to have anger issues. He should work on that. Go. Here's the basket. Here's the bucket right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Whoop. That's what we want. You won. You were so good. Two out of three. Two out of three. I'll take you. You know it, too. So I thought I'd just be down in touch somewhere. He's still trying. Smooth is not good at this. Smooth should probably be arrested. That was a violation of some sort. <laughs> When's white man can't jump on Atari Jaguar? I got you. We're gonna play white men can't jump eventually. We gotta play, uh... What are the other dank-ass basketball games? Barkley, Shut Up and Jam for the SNES. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Nice! Thank you for the, thank you for the follow. Also, um, Rap Jam Volume 1, where they never made a Volume 2. <laughs> Bill Lambeer's Combat Basketball, that's true. Alright, time to, time to say hi to the fourth opponent. We're on Disc 4, we gotta say hi to Smash. He's in the center of the box art. What could possibly go wrong? Here, this'll be good. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on! What you gonna get? Gonna get respect. What you gotta get? Gotta get respect. What you wanna get? Wanna get respect. So how do you earn respect? Ball. <laughs> okay, that's it. This <laughs> is just ball. He seems upset. Uh oh. Oh, he's good. Damn. That's a fair question in hindsight. Oh, we almost did something cool. We almost broke his ankles, but we fucked up. Uh-oh. Smash is really good. Smash is good. This is a problem. Look at the D. Look at the D. Look at the immaculate defense. 
There we go. I mean, we need a new ball now. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this game is the best game ever made. <laughs> this is the greatest game of all time. Same. I felt that. Got him! Get shit out of here! Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, AC, thank you for the follow. Get weak shit out of here. Oh, we can't shoot it. We can't shoot it, like, ever. <laughs> the jumper does not work. When is Night Trap? I have horrible news, Felly. We've already played Night Trap. Respect. I have not played time, Gale. We we'll drop to the single millions. Yo, here we go. Break to the left. Here we go. Yo, easy basket. Buckets. Never mind. I've tricked you all. <laughs> no, we haven't played Night Trap today, but we have streamed Night Trap before. And I'd probably sooner play Double Switch then play Night Trap again. What is he doing? Alright, our break opportunities are not super duper clear against Smash, I'll be honest with you. We can't shoot ever! I have not streamed Sewer Shark at all. Have not streamed it yet. We do have a vague sports theme tonight, though. Gotta get to the other proper, uh, gotta get to some proper FMV games. There'll be plenty of time for FMV games, I assure you. There's so many FMV games we gotta get to. Alright, what if I shoot at 99? Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm already mashing the shoot button. That doesn't work. Never mind. What did you think would happen? Yo, I'm breaking this way. Easy. Can April be FMV month? I mean, we could just play more FMV games. We'll just squeeze them in whenever we can. Hundreds of them. What is an FMV? It's what you're looking at right now. It stands for Full Motion Video! Oh, we don't got handles. Can't believe this. Smash is too good. That's a good frame. <laughs> All 
Alright, let's turn on training mode. We must install training wheels. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we got the whole squad laughing. Ball. Ball! Where the hell are my break opportunities? Let me see them. Where's Scotty Pippen? We'd never get to him. We'd never get to him unless we cheated. You've got to grind for that shit. I broke the wrong way. Went the absolute wrong direction. <laughs> Damn, so sometimes you get it right at the- right as soon as you get the ball. There'd be no indication of that on the... There'd be no indication of that, like, with what Smash is doing, though. You're just kind of supposed to know, I guess. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think she's okay. Damn, he's good. You dunked him like a donut. The kind with Boston cream filling. Thank you. She was unsponsored. Is at this juncture we must say that the stream is unsponsored. Yo, let me get a steal though. Let me get a steal though. Shit. Oh, that was pure power. Yo, I believe. I believe we gotta we gotta make this basket. We gotta get a stop on defense. I believe. Here we go, here's the D. Never mind, we got no D. <laughs> mm, I hate that. <laughs> the fucking heat don't emote. It's so perfect. I hate it, but I love it a lot. No, run it back though. Ball. When Smash said ball, I felt that. Did you feel it? Give me the ball. Yo, got him. That was ten seconds. Now you should know this Smash can't tell time. So shut up. Smash can't tell time? Is that... Is that official in the lore? How can we exploit that? How can we exploit this knowledge? That means we can hold on to the ball forever, then. Because he doesn't know when it's a shot clock violation. You dunked him like a donut. The kind with Boston cream filling. Yo, got the steal! <sighs> Flawless. That's beautiful deep, baby. Got Smash wondering what time it is. Well, I mean, presumably he always wonders what time it is. I went the wrong way. What am I doing? <laughs> is this what street basketball is like? Anybody who plays pickup games uh, in the chat room. Come on. 
I love- I like Bad Dog a lot. Anybody who plays, uh, pickup games in the chat room, is this- is this what it's like? This probably- this probably one-to-one. -one. They're not exactly like this- no, they have to be. Here we go. Buckets. Never mind. We can't shoot. It is impossible to shoot the ball against Smash. But that's fine. Tool assisted can beat Smash, yeah. Yo, I wanna see I wanna see a task for this. That'd be pretty sick. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. My boy H that bit. That's why I gotta get my boy props. Ah. I see. <laughs> I thought she was gonna kiss her. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda did too. Alright, so yeah. We wouldn't be able to see Scotty Pippen unless we either cheated, like we put in cheats to get like 10 billion respect or however much you need, or we just grinded for a while, which is not really acceptable either. So this is how FMV games tend to work. If it's not... If the FMV isn't cutscene only, like Minnesota Fats, they'll try to work the FMV into the gameplay itself. Probably more frequently, it's this kind of FMV. These games are all from the 90s, though. Pretty much every game except one that we're playing today is from the 90s. There's one game that's much, much older that we're going to take a look at because I want to show people what FMV games looked like much, uh, much farther in the past. <laughs> So many credits. Apparently the budget for this game was like two million dollars and they filmed it for, uh... This game was- I think all the stuff was filmed over like two weeks or something. Still photography, that guy's not doing a good job, all the shaking. The dude from Mad Dog played for the Jets and Eagles? He's a football player?! I can believe that. I absolutely believe that. I hope he ends up in the Twitch chat. I hope we can, uh... I hope I can get an interview with that guy. I want to talk to him. Performed by Scotty Pippen. The memes were plentiful that year. The effects and characters, or the events and characters are fictitious. Any similarity to actual persons is purely coincidental. The music ends long before the credits do, it would seem. What are 1994 memes? We'll never know. I was two years old at the time. <laughs> Can't say I was up on my meme knowledge when I was two. Let's check out some really old shit. You want to see? Uh, you want to see probably the oldest quote sport unquote. If we can call racing a sport, I don't think it's. I don't think racing really. I guess it's a sport. Let's take a look at. Uh, let's take a look at a FMV game from 1984. 
1984. This game's probably older than a lot of people here. No, not Road Avenger. Here we go. Time to take a look at a laser disc video game by the name of GP World. 1984. Sega racing game. I guess it's a racing game. It's a laser disc video game. I gotta boot up Daphne for this shit. It's been a while since I had to use Daphne for anything. Thank you, Sega. I agree. But one year before Outrun, I think. Yeah, I've played the cliffhanger FMV game before. I haven't streamed it. We're gonna have to get to it. Uh, where did I put Daphne? I put it somewhere. Where are you? Outrun was 86. Two years before Outrun. Never mind. Don't know why I thought it was 85. Something was 85. I'm not sure what exactly. Here we go. We might have to we might have to implant our own music because during the action there's no music for some reason. I believe it's an emulation issue. Either way, this is what uh this is what a 1984 FMV game looks like. We've got to boot up the got to get the capture going. We're in. Uh, it's just raw footage. It's just footage ass footage. How does this work, you might wonder? Let's put in a credit and find out, shall we? Oh, we're definitely gonna have to, like, Definitely gonna have to turn some music on, because there's no no music during the race. We're gonna have to put some fake ass music in there. Where's my music player? I don't think I have my music player anywhere on this source. Anywhere in this scene. I guess it's fine. Alright, put in one singular credit. Let me boot up some jams. Let me get some jams going. Here we go. Alright. Gentlemen, start your engine. Oh, start your engines. Trial. This is how this is how this game works. We have some of a we have we have some of a car. We've got low gear, we've got high gear, and you just drive on this footage, right? We're gonna dodge the cars. <laughs> yeah, we got half of a car, baby. This was the future of video games. This is what people thought the future of video games would be in 1984. <laughs> Oh no, how dare you! There we go, we qualified. Oh, we got position four? We got fourth place? Yeah, there's an Outrun song. This is the, the Outrun song is not part of it. That's just me playing this music because there's no music during the racing. <laughs> Here we go. This is the actual race. This is the Grand Prix! These blue cars, we gotta pass them. Yo, with the greatest of ease. There we go. Oh, God! Never mind. We fucked up. We fucked up. We're dead. Whoa. Oh, they're good. They're fast. The <laughs> Immortus. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the comeback. Third place. We're moving and grooving. Oh, we're not quite moving and grooving. There we go. So the yellow cars don't actually do anything for you. 
Next race. We made it to the next race, I guess! Hell yeah! Feels good. East Grand Prix race. East Grand Prix race. Let's go. We're still gaming. We're about to get the 1cc. We're about to get the GP World 1cc. Maybe we're not. Oh, God. Oh, these turns are rough! <laughs> what just happened? My game crashed. We crashed the entire game by running into that car. We broke the whole thing! <laughs> This is what we deserve. This is the music we deserve while I boot this game back up. Let's try that again. Yeah. Yeah, you see my notepad? See that notepad? There we go, let's fix it. We're back in, we gotta, we gotta halt the, there we go. Fixed it, we're back in. Let's, uh, should we start with... Ooh, should we start with the other one? Got the Japan circuit. Yes, because we got more games to copy-paste, Link Wolf. We'll get to that one in just a second. We gotta play this one. Gentlemen, start your engine. You better believe Mike Ditko trial. will make an appearance. It's a weird thing to say, though. We gotta do the time trial again first. Welcome to the Fantasy now. Zone. Get ready. Yo, Famic Consumer, thank you for the follow. Now, because we, we failed to start music, this is just where we live now. We live in this quiet hellscape. How is everybody doing in the, uh, in the, the vast expanse of nothingness we're listening to right now? I'm your, I'm your host, Dino, please. We occasionally stream video games. Oh, we crashed it again. Maybe this- maybe that track is cursed. Maybe this track is cursed. Maybe we shouldn't do this track. Let's see the other track, then. That's the tech. We just gotta not do that track. It's that one turn, yeah. The most cursed turn of all time. Except for some nine ball. That's what we gotta do. We gotta jump right back into, uh... <laughs> we gotta jump back into Minnesota Bats. We're playing on Daphne right now. <laughs> That's fine. We're more, uh, more interested in just showing people how this game looks and how it plays than actually completing it. So if it's gonna crash right there every time, we'll just avoid that track. No big deal. Show off the other track. Go to the Japan circuit. No, I'd like to go to the Japan circuit, though. Thank you. Where's my jams? I know what jams I want. It's a really good demolition man, FMV. I will look into it. I'll take your word for it. Gentlemen, start your engines. I will, thank you. Let's see if this track wants to crash on us. Sure is power drift in here. Oh, that's fast! Gotta go to low gear for some of these turns. Sega Racing music is just a whole ass aesthetic. feels good. Can I get my playlist? I... I should probably put my playlist somewhere. Don't actually have that anywhere. Japan Grand Prix Race. Japan Grand Prix Race.
We're in six. We gotta catch up already. Yeah, this is real life we're playing. Real life wishes it looked this good. But this is pretty much how Laserdisc games were, right? They used real footage for things when they could. But it's 1984, so they had to... They had to put, like, sprites on top of that. To give you the illusion of gameplay. This is what, uh, this is what FMV games were before the vastly more, uh, recognized Sega CD style of FMV game. This is what it was before that. It went third, though. It feels good. Thread the needle! Oh, he caught up. He's good. You see the style coming back? I hope so. We almost made that turn. That was almost good. Alright, we're not allowed to touch the edge of the screen. Noted. Game over! How can you do this to me? Yo, Zotmeister, thank you for the host. We're on the high scoreboard! We, we've made it! We did it, we're a real gamer! Oh, it feels good. This GP World, the laser disc game, Zotmeister. I'm pretty sure it's the best game ever made. Wow, that footage was really sped up. I'm scared. The game could crash at any moment. Oh, let's run this first one again. What else do we got? We got other jams. Let's let's pick a jam. Somebody asked for this in the chat room. I just so happened to have it on me. Gentlemen, start your engines. Start your engines. Now we're racing. Better believe we had Daddy Malk on deck. Whoa! Shit! And now this is pod racing. How did we do? I don't think we did that good. We're in sixth? That's not terrible. Could be better. Could be better. Could be worse. Race. Race! You got it. I can do that. They're playing laser. We're playing a laser disc game right now. Oh, that's no good. Oh, we're off to a bad start. Oh, I'm boxed in! That was premeditated. That was a premeditated boxing in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Occasionally it stalls for a second and then speeds up. Like Street Fighter V online! This is where they got that from, I see. Oh, we got game over already. Damn. We're no good at GP World. It's too hard. We got another high score, though. We apparently didn't do good enough to put our name in, though. Yeah, the variable playback speed.
It's like they have a- there's just like tens of thousands of frames, right? There's tens of thousands of individual frames. And depending on how fast the car is going, that's how fast they play. That must have been hard to do back then. That must have been- that must have been pretty hard to set up. I want to see if I can get first place. We almost certainly can't get first place, but we can try. Oh, what do we want, though? What's the jam? What's the jam? There's gotta be jams. Oh, that's the jam. Sure, why not? Gentlemen, start your engines. You got it. Trial! Is too intense for the trial run, I realize. This is the incorrect music for the trial. Uh oh. We're going to the, uh. Isn't this the track that crashes? We're about to West die. Oh no, I guess we're good. Am I ever gonna play Jazz the Jackrabbit? We played, uh. We played the Christmas episode on Christmas Eve. Or the day before Christmas Eve. We haven't played the game like proper, but we played the we played the Christmas episode. We'll probably get back to that. Certainly. Cause we still haven't done our stream on animal mascots with attitude. We've gotta do that, because there were hundreds of those. We've gotta do the weird like animal mascot week, where we just look at all the ones that didn't quite take off. Yo, the double. Oh, we're doing it! Oh, we're not doing it anymore! We were briefly doing it! I had it, it was in my hand. Bubbly, uh, Bubsy is an established popular brand. Yeah, that's true. For all intents and purposes, Bubsy did not go nowhere. He definitely went somewhere. He, uh... Can't say that was a failure. I guess. <laughs> East Grand Prix race. East Grand Prix race. Oh, that's the same song. Ah, fuck it, that's fine. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Yo, Mighty Sid, thank you for the follow. I want to, uh... Yeah, that track crashes every time. That track is cursed. I suppose that's fine. Metal Squad is over. Metal Squad machine broke. That track is cursed, but I suppose we're... I'm, I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. Bubsy got a pilot episode. Yeah, there was gonna be like a cartoon or something. Gonna be. And then they weren't. Uh, they decided to pull the plug on that in a hurry. But that's fine. <laughs> uh, what else do we got? Let's go back to the Sega CD. Let's get cooked in another game. Here we go. I know something we can get roasted in. Let's play a game that I find to be more impossible than Slam City. Which is saying quite a lot, because Slam City's fucking impossible. Here we go. Yeah, it was Cogdale. That was on uh, that was on Daphne. That's what I was running that on. Time to check out Prize Fighter for the Sega CD. And by check out, I do mean check out, because there's no way in hell we're beating this game. 
Welcome to the family. Get ready. Executioner, thank you for the follow. Yeah, this game is uh, this game's fairly impossible. Digital Pictures Production. Let's just soak in this lore. I believe you're correct, Cog. Yeah, the whole game is uh, the whole game's in black and white. To be honest, though, the black and white aesthetic for this game, it works really well for the limited color palette. The Sega CD only had room for so many colors in its FMVs anyway, so making it black and white was actually a pretty good idea. It looks better because of it, in my opinion. Yeah, the color situation is not the issue. The color situation is not remotely the issue. Tragedy. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Oh wow. Tonight, they actually got Michael Buffer. Of the biggest and baddest, fiercest and meanest fighters this side of thermonuclear war. Yo, shout outs to Michael Buffer. <laughs> ready for me. Oh. All right. So we've got three choices of opponent. We can fight Honey Boy. You better be ready for me. Oh. We got Mega Joe. You want to stay pretty like me, kid? Don't get in the ring. And we got T Rex. You want to stick a fork in you, kid? You're done. Here's the problem. I'm telling you, done. Here's the problem. We only have 300 power points. As you can tell, we're outclassed by all three of these people as far as power points go. Power points directly affects... Me. Punk. Power points directly affects how much damage you deal when you land hits. Which means that from the get-go, we're at a disadvantage. You better be ready for me, punk. Thank you, honey boy. Let's jump in. What odds are you given? Ten to one. Against the kid. Yeah, you're right. Just spot dodge. These are the rules. No rabbit punches, no low blows. In case of a knockdown, go to a neutral corner. And stay there. Until I tell you to come out. Is that clear? You didn't say headbutts are illegal. Can I headbutt him? This is it, kid. Let's do it. It's so immersive. Are you... Are you immersed right now, chat room?
<laughs> we're top told to go down in the fourth. Imagine how paid we could get if we threw this fight bet against ourselves. Oh, this music's good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first bout of the evening. Please say the line, Michael Buffer. The man in charge of the action. Referee, Dean LaBelle. Please say your and catchphrase. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Oh, oh it's so good! In this corner, weighing in at 190 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, George! Honey boy, Hernandez! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the opposite corner. He's a brand new fighter with a lot of heart. Let's welcome into the ring at this time, the pig! We got heart! No talent, but we got heart. Fighters, you know the rules. I want you to shake hands. Come out fighting. Crunchy McKay, one of the greats, died of a heart attack during a championship battle. The doctors say it's all in his head, but the boy hasn't walked without crutches since that day. Thank you for this lore that I asked for. All right, here we go. Now we're actually in the video game. As you can see, you can kind of, you just kind of punch a bit. It's very nebulous whether a punch will work or if it won't. The best you can hope for is to just kind of stick buttons out, yeah? And hope that something happens. Break. If I don't win the match, Glasses Kid dies, you right. As you can see, it's not super duper clear when the moments to strike are. So, you know, just kind of just stick buttons out and see if, see if it works. Break. Hit him with release the bogus, you right. This is the master plan. This is the master plan. We're just gonna do hooks back and forth. What are you gonna do? This is the technique. This is the stance. The uppercut. You bob and weave. We got a bob and weave, you right. We've got a block button. We do have bobs and weaves, actually. This game, too, has a training mode where you can see when the times to press the button are. We're probably going to have to turn that on if we want to see if we can beat anybody in this video game. Yeah, the final boss is none other than Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Yo, I dodged one. Yo, feels good. The way that it shows a little cutscene every time you land a punch. It's so good. What? Yo, Gold Bolt, thank you for the host. Yo, we got knocked down. Fight! We're back in. Got him. Another one. Yo, quit hugging me, bro. <laughs> We're just throwing punches. None of them are landing. The TAS of this. Oh, that would be so sick to look at. Got him. Hear me out, though. What if? Alright, this isn't working. Yeah, we gotta give him the old razzle-dazzle. I like how sometimes we'll be standing perfectly still and he'll miss somehow. Oh, we're getting cooked. Oh, we got back up. I don't think it's up to us when we get up and when we don't. 
I think we just see if we get up or not. If only this game had frame data. This game does have frame data. We'll probably have to abuse it. You wiggle the Wii mode. I should. We made it to round two. You're not listening. You are not listening. Sit down. You all right? You all right? Doing my best, coach. You all right? You comfortable? What do I have to do? <laughs> How can I reach these kids? Out of a moving car. Step inside and nail them when you're right. <laughs> Coach, I think I'm internally bleeding. No, it's okay, though. That's where the blood's supposed to be. <laughs> Yo, I'm using my right, Coach, just like you taught me. It's not working, Coach. <laughs> I'm dead, Coach. Yo, go for the uppercut. Here we go. I'm gonna DP. Going for the DP. It's not working. Oh, we got one. You know who wouldn't lose pizza pasta from Arcade Punch Out? You right. But yeah, in addition to in addition to it not really being clear when you can hit people in this game, it also depends on how many power points you have. You can grind out power points by winning these fights, and it'll make you deal more damage in future matches. Oh, people are wrestling upstairs again. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is over. The winner by knockout victory, George Honeyboy. George Honeyboy. Let's do it, coach. Teach me how to blitz, coach. <laughs> we landed 8% of our punches thrown. Even he only landed 49% of his punches. All right. Damn, we didn't even get on the high scoreboard. All right, let's turn on training mode. Where is that? Training mode on. Let's go. Bam. Here we go. PowerPoints. Yo, I can save my progress. That's more than I can save for Slam City. I don't think that game has a save feature. Oh, I can redistribute my current PowerPoints. Wow, I can only do it... Never mind. Yo, I can put... I can put more points into stamina so I live longer. Nice. Wait, hold on. Just hold on. This is the this is the way. This is the way. Nice. Oh, I can't go higher than this. I can't go higher than 160 right now. All right. Fair enough. Let's try that again with trading mode on. So now, if a, if a training mode is on, you'll see little arrows on the sides of the screen that tell you when to strike and from which direction. So if you see it like a like a left arrow on the top of the screen, that means you got to do means you got to go for a hook. If you see it on the bottom of the screen, it means you got to go for an uppercut. That being said, you can see that it's not a very large window. Even when you know how to do it. You're only given, like, a few frames to actually land the hit. Which is a bit of a problem when he deals more damage than you. It would mean that you somehow have to learn how to play defense. Yeah, diet trading's all wine and cheese, you right. Yo, got him. Or play dirty. I wish that was an option. Right. 
but this was pretty much the case with a lot of these FMV style games. Where there's just a lot of memorization involved. Yeah, there's no there's no cues in the footage. You just kind of have to punch around a bit and see what works and what doesn't work. In a lot of these FMV games, that's how it goes. And it's one of the reasons why people didn't actually like them so much. But it's one way to pad your game for more time, I suppose, is to make it, like, absurdly difficult so that you're required to memorize how things go based on the footage. Yeah, the Power Rangers FMV game where it's just footage from the show with a QTE game put on top of it. I almost streamed that during the Power Rangers stream. I almost did, I'm not gonna lie to you. We will, uh, we'll get to that one. Better believe we'll get to that one. There's a Kamen Rider game, too, that's very much the same thing. Wonder if Twitch would have a problem with that. I would assume not, it's technically a video game, yeah? It's just an episode of the show. It's just an episode of Power Rangers with the, with the uh, QTE game thrown on top of it. Even with training mode on, we can't seem to land our hits. Yeah, that portrait's really good. He's so into it. It still seems like we're just kind of better off mashing. It seems like we're just generally kind of better off mashing buttons. <laughs> you're not listening. You are not listening. Oh, you're not listening, kid. Okay, baby. You're right. You're comfortable. What do I have to do? Listen to me, kid. Stick with me, you and me, kid. Stick with me, we'll go straight to the top. Honey boy's dropping his right every time he jabs. You keep putting that left in his face every time he does that. You want me to put a left in his face? I can do that. I can put a left in his face. Here we go. Observe. Observe my left. Oh no, it's not working, coach. There we go. There wasn't even a prompt for that one. That's fucked up. He goes for the hug a lot. Is that a legal move? Is that a legal move in boxing? It feels... It feels illegitimate. They should have done this again with Fist of the North Star. They should have done this with uh, a great many things. Got him. Oh, we'll get to that one, Jiggy. Don't you worry about that. There's actually a lot of, like, anime-style FMV fighting games. Not too unlike this one. Where it just plays footage and you need to press buttons at the right time. But depending on your taste, you might argue that the presentation is better in those. And we'll definitely get to some of those. For now, though, we're just gonna get cooked by Honey Boy, it seems. Training mode doesn't help at all. Your best bet would be to somehow win one match. You know, however the hell you make that happen. And then... Then you end up with more power points, and it makes uh, future matches easier. That's what you'd have to do. Two, three, four, five. Fight! I love this referee, though. He's really good. Make him late to the match? That is Now, that's a strategy I can get behind. Yo, got him.
He doesn't have Uber yet. Nobody did. He's 93. <laughs> Or hell, this game might take place earlier than that, given that it's black and white. I don't know what I don't know the time period of this game. Only its release year. But between this and Slam City, I don't know which game people generally find to be better. I find this one to be immensely more difficult. Yo, prize fighter, you better believe it. We're getting roasted, though. This game's impossible. Yeah, the referee's really good. Yo, get him with the left. Another one. Another one? Never mind. I'll do it, coach. I'll do that for you. <laughs> what did he just say? Did anybody catch any of that? I didn't. I have no idea what he just said to me. He just made a noise. When he drops his light, uh, when he drops his right, give him a left. I'll do it. Give it at all she's got, coach. Here's the left. Here's the left. Here's my unstoppable left. It's not working, coach. That represents the concussion we have sustained. I can I, I, I can accept that lore. That sounds correct to me. Uppercut. Never mind. I want an uppercut to work. My favorite color is seven, coach. You can't figure out where these hitboxes are. Um, you just kind of have to know. You just kind of have to know. I can't. I, I also noticed that the training mode arrows have disappeared after the first round. So that's all we get is like one round to help. We're out! You're right, just no. Let's fight the, uh, let's take a look at the hardest guy. Let's see how quickly we get KO'd by somebody with thousands of power points. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is over. The winner by knockout victory, George Honeyboy! I hope he knocks us out in, like, two punches. This will be the guy that we beat somehow. We're getting ready for the next one. Here we go. Here we go. Who was it? T-Rex? It was T-Rex, right? 2,900 power points? We only have 300. Let's try it. This will be good. Ah, shit! We gotta put in disc two! I can't believe you've done this. What are you gonna do? Go out there and trip and fall on him? Crush him to death? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, kid. Here's some Cinderella challenger. But remember, I don't put up with any dirt in my ring. No hitting on the brake, no hitting after the bell, and no roughing on the ropes. Have a good fight. No hitting after the bell? That's the start of the match. Go out. That's when the match starts, ref. That's true, he never said no swords. He never said guns were illegal. That might be just what we need. You've given me the phone number in advance.
What did you tell me? I've already forgotten. I get punched in the head a lot. Oh, T-Rex is into it. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I don't feel safe. I'm getting bad vibes from this man. Uh-oh. If he dies, he dies. I love you, Michael Buffer. When the bell rings, the men in charge of the action. Referee, Gene LaBelle. Introducing first, weighing in at 245 pounds. He's known as the Jurassic Predator. He is he Rick Hawkins. Be honest and with you, gamers. I don't feel safe. A new fighter who has vaulted overnight from complete obscurity to the big time, he is the kid. We have no other identification. We are just the kid. Okay, fighters, you know the rules. I want you to shake hands and come out fighting. Oh, no. Oh, no. He ain't that tough. Now stick and move with this big boy now. Stick and move. Let's go. Yeah, stick and move. That'll work. That's what we need. Let's do it. Use your jab! Use my jab for you! Here we go. Stick and move. Got him. Oh, no. Oh, he hits hard, actually! Oh, dear God. Somebody help. Call an ambulance. Call the police. So this is the difference that PowerPoints make. This is their way to pad the game out for more time. So, they make it so you pretty much have to grind out power points to win some of these later fights. The same way that, uh, the same way that Slam City has you grind out for respect, this game has you grind out for power points. That way, you know, that way you can punch this hard. <laughs> Damn, everybody left. We're still in the ring. <laughs> oh my god. They just left us there. Kid loses three KOs in a row. Game over. Woo! We didn't stand a chance. We didn't stand a single chance. Also, hello, I drop. We, uh, we were playing prize fighter. I think we're dead now, though. Oh, sad credits. There's a fourth guy named Nuke. We didn't even see Nuke. You probably have to earn the right to fight against Nuke. That's the swan song of the kid. You hate to see it happen. That's pretty much how this game goes, though. I've never seen anybody beat this video game. I'm not convinced it's beatable without some kind of outside assistance. <laughs> Or maybe it is. At the very least, I am a hot garbage at it. Where's the task? There's probably a long play of it that had some, uh... I'm sure there's a long play that shows the whole thing. Otherwise, though, just keep grinding it out until you got that shit memorized. Da Vinci. That's somebody's occupation in the credits. There were two Da Vinci's in the credits.
The events and characters depicted in this photo play are fictitious. Any similarity to actual person, uh, any persons is entirely coincidental. Same credits, uh, exact same kind of credits as Slam City. Did I mess with balancing PowerPoints for each hand? Yes, we went for uh, 69 in the right hand. We wanted to do 69 in the left hand, but didn't let us, didn't let us get away with that. When's the kid going to join Sega All-Stars Racing? They'll sooner add Danica Patrick again. I'm surprised they didn't sneak Danica Patrick into Team Sonic Racing or whatever. <laughs> the most legendary Sega character of all time, Danica Patrick. Supreme Warrior next. It's not really a sports game. We're, we were kind of committed to like a like a vague... We're kind of committed to, like, a vague FMV sports theme today. But I'll tell you what we can play. We're going to have to go back to the Sega Saturn. We're going to have to go back to the Sega Saturn, because what we haven't played yet is football! We haven't played any football. It's time for quarterback attack with Mike Ditka for the Sega Saturn. <laughs> this game, I'm going I'm to be honest with you, chat room. This game is actually kind of legit. Every bone in my body tells me that this game should be bad. Every bone in my body tells me this should be a bad game, but it's actually pretty sick. Here we go. Uh, I need... I have to specifically not use the most recent version of this emulator, though. Because they broke it. They broke it with... They broke this game with one of the recent versions of the emulator, so we gotta... Use an old one. This should be the one that works. Oh, it's Data East again. Oh, I gotta mount the... Shit. Here we go. Don't mind me. Mounting. Mounting things. Gotta mount the video game. We gotta do one of these moves. There we go. And then we push this button. And we should be gaming. Alright, we're in. Yo, talk to me, coach. Talk to me, Bike Ditka. Okay, Rook, today you get your shot. Never hears out with a busted shoulder. Welcome to the jungle, kid. Oh, that sounds good. Uh oh. We want to rack up a lot of points. Oh, there might be some issues here. Go get him! All right. Hey, and another thing. It's too hot in the pocket. Scramble out of there, you got me? <laughs> you okay, coach? The magazine here says you got the best passing game in town. I hope they're right. Come on, brother. I mean, the kid's got a job to do. Again, remember, keep him off balance with a run. <laughs> hey, are you ready to prove what a number one draft pick can do? Yes. Outstanding, rookie. Okay, man. We fought for our place at the table. Now, it's time to... Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed already. We haven't done anything yet. Kill! Crush! Uh... Chat, remind me, honest with you. I don't know much about... I don't know that much about football, but... I'm pretty sure Mike Ditka's not the coach of the Redskins. This is a weird... non-canon universe. Pretty sure he's not the coach of the... Pretty, pretty sure he did not coach the Redskins at any point. Alright, we're in. Quarterback attack. That's all we get. They didn't even put his name on the title screen. It says 60 minute game length, but it ends up less than that because every time the opposing team gets the ball, they uh, fast forward to when you get the ball again. Looks like we're occasionally going to have some sound problems. Oh, it's chopped and screwed. That sounds godlike. Sour, please. 
Here we go. So, what's the best way to explain this video game? They're very true to the name. This game is called Quarterback Attack with Mike Ditka. You solely control the quarterback. That's the only person you control in this game. Because instead of going for like a full team thing, they want to do something a little different where you only control one character the entire game. So you can pick a run play, you can pick a pass and play. You can... Yeah, there's certainly video in this video game. You can pick your receiver's routes, you can pick your backfield's routes. You can decide what count to snap on, which sometimes is good because you can draw the opposing team offsides. You survey, you survey their defensive line, decide the best course of action. And then when you hut the ball, you go into this mode where you need to dodge the people that run at you like this <laughs> and try and run the ball. Or if, you're, or if you're doing a passing play, you gotta pass the ball instead. We just lost two yards doing that. This is the best game ever made. It's so sick. It shouldn't be, but it's pretty sick. Alright, here we go. Second 12. So after you hut the ball, you need to, uh, after you hike the ball, you need to look at your receivers. See if anybody looks open to you. If you see an open man, throw it to him! Shit! We threw it to the wrong guy! They're kicking a field goal. Alright, we're not off to a great start, gamers. We need to find somebody a little bit more open than that. That's where we veered. That's where we, that's where we veered. A score for you, coach. We've got to do Coach Proud. We've got to do Coach Ditka Proud. All right, let's go all deep. We're going to bomb it. Is this the XFL? Yeah. All right, that didn't work either. We're off to a bad start. The XFL is canceled again. That didn't... that didn't last long. So I'm seeing a theme here every time we, uh... <laughs> every time we throw it to somebody, they intercept it. We gotta find the open man. We gotta find somebody who's more open than the people we're throwing it to. Yeah, there is a good reason why it's true. All sports were cancelled. Even curling?! Was curling cancelled? I hope not. I love curling. They're cowards if they cancelled curling. Alright, we gotta go... Let's not go deep. Let's not go super deep. There we go, that looks easy. Yes! Nailing it. That man scares me. Let's do a running play. It's only two yards for a first down. Here we go, what are we doing? Tossing it to our right. There's not that many people on the right side of the field. So in theory, this should go pretty well. Yeah. Oh, he's going! First down. So yeah, it's actually, like, very well thought out, this game. This game is really thought out because when there's actually an opening in the defensive line, if you if you had, like, a running play going in that direction, that shit does work. It, it works out the way you think it does. It's, there's not really any randomness to it. Oh, he's open. Never mind, he's not open. I thought he was open, he wasn't open. But they had to punt. We got the ball back. Got it on the 20, yeah? That was a touchback. We're gonna do it. We're gonna score. Let's go for the running play first. Go mix it up a bit. <laughs> Removing your helmet on the field's a penalty these days. <clears throat> I guess I'm not too surprised. We're gonna do it. We're gonna score. 
We're gonna do a score. There's nobody on the left side of the field. We're going left. Yeah, 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 yeah! Become the water boy. I, I didn't see that movie, I'll be honest with you. That's the Adam Sandler one, yeah? I saw Remember the Titans, though. Is that good enough? He's open. I don't think he caught it, though. Another running play. We can run for three yards. We're going left. How open is the left side of the field? Oh, I'm not getting a good vibe from that. Let's do it, though. Was that three yards? Give me my first down. Yes! Okay. Yeah, we can call audibles at any time. It's pretty nice. On the right side of the, uh... <laughs> I 100% play like a fan of Ohio football. Listen. So on the right side of the screen, you can see what play we currently have selected. We can call audibles at any time. So if we see there's an opening on the left side of the field, which there is, we can do this play go left and we should get some yardage out of it. Or not. Maybe we picked a bad time to do that. Maybe there is some degree of randomness to this. Alright, let's throw a long bomb. This will work. This is going to go really well. Yeah, how do Americans play football? I'm so sorry. All the, uh... So sorry to all of the Europeans in the chat who don't know how football works. I will do my absolute best to explain it, though. <laughs> I hit him in the back with the football. You gotta turn around. You gotta... That was on him. Yeah, that was his fault. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that was on him. There we go. Never mind. We got a punt. It's fourth down. So basically, you get four downs to go ten yards. You get four attempts to go ten yards. Generally, people only use three of them because on the fourth down, if you still have failed to go ten yards, you are forced to turn over the ball to the other team. You are forced to turn over the ball right where you were. So most people punt it so that the other team gets the ball back, but, you know, a long distance away. You watch football every week, you don't enjoy it because Detroit sucks. As a, as a resident of Cleveland, Ohio, I gotta say... Gotta say, uh, football's weird. There's some very rabid football fans in the city of Cleveland, and I don't exactly understand why, because Cleveland football is not very impressive. Hasn't been for quite some time. Whoa, Jesus! I panicked. All right, he didn't catch it, though. Oh, no, he did catch it. Have I heard the Cleveland song? Yes, I have. It's all true. Everything you've heard, it's all true. Mighty expensive arm you got there, kid. Time to make it start paying off. Okay, we gotta do it. We gotta do it for Coach Ditka. We gotta do it. We're gonna start gaming. We're gonna start gaming for our coach. There we go. More of those. It's 
So it's second down. This will be our second try in going a total of 10 yards from where we got the ball. Now, two yards out of 10 is not a very large distance, so usually what people would do on a play like this is they would run the ball instead of passing it because it's a lot safer. It's a lot easier to go two yards on a running play. Like so. And now that we've gone 10 yards, it's first down again, which means that we have another, we have a new set of downs with which to go another 10 yards. Which means the drive continues until you fail to go 10 yards by fourth down. You can still go for it on fourth down. Most people don't, though. Oh, Jesus! No problem, kid. No problem. we do it next time. We'll do it next time. I agree. That guy believes in me. That's the only guy on this team that believes in me. <laughs> Why this game exists? The same reason every other FMV sports game exists, I suppose. Can we choose to run if we've got no open receivers? We certainly can. We absolutely can. Yo, take it. We only moved one yard. It's fourth and one. It's fourth and one. We've got to go for it. You better believe we're going for that shit. How open is the left side of the field? How many people are on the left side of the field? Yeah, we're going left. Quarterback sneak. I actually don't think that's an option in this game. I wish it was. There we go. That's what we did. And at some point, we entered the second quarter. Over a quarter way done with the game. Oh, that dude's open! Yes! We're doing it, we're gaming. We're on their eight yard line, and there's only eight yards to go before we score a touchdown! I want it so bad. I want it so bad. Here we go, here we go, this is the run. Yes! We did it. <laughs> Excuse me, chicken? Why did a chicken do a slam dunk? Is that our mascot? This game's amazing. <laughs> and yeah, every time the every time it's the opponent's turn to have the ball, it just kind of fast forwards time until it just kind of fast forwards time until we get the ball again. They kicked another field goal. You hate to see it happen. Is that all the points they've scored? They have 15 points right now. A field goal for people who don't know about... A field goal for people who are not familiar with American Hand Egg is worth three points. They have 15 points right now. They have kicked five field goals. That is absurd. We only have seven points. We have scored no field goals. But we did get a touchdown. Touchdowns are worth more, you see. But they're harder to do. You're a loser. That's all you are. That's a penalty. That's surely that was That was unsportsmanlike conduct, right? I get a first down for that. <laughs> Yo, 
go. He's open. Kids making me feel old. We're making him feel old. Yeah, we can run for two yards. Here's the tech. We've been snapping at two right now. So we say hut twice, and then on the second one, we snap the ball. This play, we're going to snap on four. And if the AI is too used to the same snap count, sometimes they will be drawn offsides. All right, it didn't happen that time. Three huts, they didn't bite. What happens if they go offsides is we automatically go forward five yards. That would have given us a first down, had it worked, in this instance. Yeah, that's the false start bait. They actually can fall for that in this game. It's pretty sick. So I'll be honest with you gamers, uh, keep calling the chat room gamers for some reason. I feel terrible about it. Oh, he's open. We got taken down. We tried to throw the ball. We were too late. We were too late! Let's show what happens when we hold on to the ball, though. Because you can actually go into, like, a quarterback scramble mode sometimes. Hold on, we gotta enter quarterback scramble mode. Shit! Oh no, I don't like that close-up. Less of that, please. <laughs> Your football is a scary game, I agree. Although I suppose it's a... Oh, we almost caught that. I suppose it's, um... Your coach believes in me. We could go for the field goal. No, we can't. We're too far away. I suppose it's no less dangerous than, like, rugby, though. Rugby's got less padding. But they generally collide at each other at a little bit of a slower speed. Never watched a whole lot of rugby, but I saw it at the Olympics, like the 2016 Olympics or whatever. I caught some rugby, and that shit, that shit looks amazing. They kicked another one. Yeah, rugby's super dope. You're curling, that's the real shit. The whole Winter Olympics. You can miss me with the Winter Olympics if there ain't no curling. That's the that's the real shit. Oh, he's wide open. Timeouts were filling in the second half. Yes. You get three timeouts per half, as per the rules of American hand egg. There's, a lot, there's been a lot of rules against tackling in American football lately, too. To the point where certain players are... Uh, to the point where certain players are like, well, we don't know how to tackle anymore. We can't tackle too high because we get called for a flag. Can't tackle too low because that's another flag. People don't know what to do anymore. Nice close-up. Nice close-up of the one actor that agreed to be on camera. On the defense. They made revisions on face mask grabbing. I see, I see. This season's hella cancelled, though. Pretty much every sport's hella cancelled this year. No sports this year. Oh, no! 
My own team committed a false start. Because you see people who are not familiar with American football. Uh, when one person jumps ahead of everybody else, like at the start of the play, you have to wait until the quarterback hikes the ball to start the play. If somebody on the offensive line or the defensive line jumps before that happens, it's a foul. Five-yard penalty in whichever direction that team was in. Now, that looked like he ran pretty much to the goal line, but for some reason we're only on the opposing team's 21. You hate to see it happen. Yeah, you roll into the end zone, and yet we're only on the 21-yard line. Sometimes this footage does not match up very well. <laughs> there we go. But we're doing it. We're gaming. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Zelda Wild, I think, for the follow. This is a weird game to follow on, but thank you. I understand that this is not the kind of thing that is for everybody. But it fits the theme of the evening. Did he go two yards? Yes, he did. Now that we're on the opposing team's nine, it is first and goal. That means... That there's not, a. Uh, the first down line is the goal line now. Am I big on football? Actually, not really. To be honest with you. I have assimilated a great deal about football through my family, who is very big into Cleveland Browns football. There we go. We're gaming. The chicken's back! Mike Ditka, why is Mike Ditka the, the, the coach of the chickens? <laughs> so it's close to halftime here. Two minutes left. Is that when we get the ball when there's two minutes left? I don't know if we can drive down the field in two minutes. We might have to we might have to abuse our timeouts. We might have to throw some deep passes. Let's start throwing them deep. Fuck it. Gotta try and dodge tackles while we're doing it. Got it. Oh no, I dropped it. It's cool, baby. Don't let it throw you. It's cool, baby. It's cool. It's cool. Nobody panic. I suppose we also have to... Oh, it's the second quarter right now. It's about to be halftime. It's gonna be halftime in two minutes. He's open. It's cool that, um... It's cool that that actually works well. That's an eight-yard pass, is it? Third and two. We went eight yards with that pass, huh? Are you sure, video game? Some of this footage doesn't match up with the action, let me tell you. He can run for two yards. I believe in you. I don't think he ran two yards. Uh-oh. Yeah, Mike Ditka had a chrome dome. Sorry, we're going for it on fourth down. This is the stupidest idea we could possibly have, but we're doing it. Because if we fuck this up, they get the ball right where we drop it here. That whistle was for the two-minute warning. Two minutes before each half, two minutes before the end of each half, they automatically call a timeout. That does not consume any of your timeouts. It's just a thing that happens. You see that green line at the bottom right corner? You see that green, uh, that green crossing route to the left? 
who we're going for. We're gonna throw it to that man. There he is. Did he go five yards? Yes. First down. That's how you do it. That's how we do it, gamers. Yeah, that's the entire game. The entire game is one football game. They roll the credits afterwards. Oh, he's hella open! Can you play a full season? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that it's just one single video game. Like, just one single football game, but that's it. Where's Stephen A. Smith and all of this nonsense? I wish he was on commentary for this. I really do. Oh, shit. We're learning how to pass. We're cooking now. We gotta go faster, though. We gotta go faster. There's only a minute left in the half. He's dead. We gotta call a timeout. We gotta call a timeout. Okay, that'll stop the clock. That'll stop the clock. We get to think about this play. How high can we crank the hut count? We can only do a maximum of four. We can only do... We can only snap on four as a maximum. Our playbook is actually not that varied. I wish it was more varied. Yo, we could run it, but when you run the ball, unless you reach the sideline, because reaching the sideline stops the clock, the, the, the clock uh, will continue on a running play. And that's the last thing we want when we're trying to quickly score before the end of the half. I think they intercepted the ball. That's no good. All right, it's halftime. We got some work to do. This music, though. <laughs> Coach? Are you okay? Interceptions are gonna kill us. Don't Ooh. throw anymore. Listen, do it for them. Not for me. You're completing over 50%. Now that's good. Now with numbers like that, we should be able to get some points in the second half. Hey, you've been staying away from the rush. Keep dancing around. Don't let those guys get their hands on you. Man, I know we got a rookie in charge. This kid's really got the stuff. Do I? It's up to the rest of us to get behind him. So we're gonna do it? Yeah! We're gonna do it? Yeah! What I wanna do is how we gotta do it! Yeah! <laughs> Well, I guess we can't say Mike did because a bad actor. So we've got that going for us. Now they get the ball first because we got the ball first in the first half. <clears throat> so all we can do is sit here and watch them move the ball forward. We'll see if they score. We'll see if they kick a field goal. It looks like they scored a touchdown. We've got more work to do. No, you don't get to play defense. This is solely... This game is quarterback attack. The quarterback does not participate in defense. He's dead. He's dead. He's completely dead. That drive took six minutes. At the start of the half, there should have been 15 minutes. We're already down to nine minutes. That's how long 
that they simulated the opposition had the ball for. That's how long that drive took. Presumably he's on the bench during that, yeah. It's not 100% clear. There we go. More of those. You're lucky you got that one off. Next time you're hamburger. I'm scared. <laughs> he wants to turn us into hamburger chat room. I feel good about this. This feels good. This feels right. Yes! Oh, we're driving. We're driving. We're gaming. Here we go. That guy knows his way around a hamburger. Yeah, probably. They're very upset. They're screaming at me. I don't like it. <laughs> what? And we got sacked. Now, if we hold on to the ball for too long, there's a very strong possibility, like so, that one of the defenders gets to us and knocks us down. Yeah, they only have one whole clip for first downs. That's all they have. It's not every day you get to see a football game on Twitch. I bet you could, though. I bet you could watch Madden at just about any time on Twitch. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a big Madden community. Never been a huge fan of Madden, if I'm being honest. There's only two there's two football games I will swear by until the day I die. One of them is obviously NFL Blitz. The other one is uh, ESPN NFL 2K5. It's a Sega game, believe it or not. It's very good. Oh, the chicken's back. Yeah, Tecmo Super Bowl was never one that I got to... I never really got to enjoy that one with everybody else, because I never had an NES... Tecmo Super Bowl, same deal. I didn't have a SNES either. We drew him off sides. We get five yards for free. And because we were second and two, and we were given five penalty yards for what they just did, automatic first down. You're learning. You're learning, Europeans in the chat room. Perhaps really poorly, though, because I don't think I'm explaining how this works very well. That's what happens, though, when I try to explain things. Second and two. Let's run it. I'm gonna run this damn ball. We're gonna go up the middle like an idiot. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, he jumped over him! What a play! What a move! <laughs> yeah, it's not a great round, I'll be honest with you. Oh god! Shit! Madden hasn't evolved much since this. I wish Madden was uh, all FMV games. Just the entire... Just the entire... Uh, <laughs> the entire series, I wish that was all... Wish the entire series was FMV games. Damn. They're good. They're really good. We've got to find the open man. We've got to find the open man in the end zone. Oh, Jesus! Alright, fair enough. The cheerleaders are disappointed in us. 
So it's fourth down. We could go for it. But if we fuck up, we get no points. Or we can go for a field goal. Field goals tend to be easier the closer you are to the goal line. We're on the 12-yard line. Usually, like, field goal range is anything within, like, the 30, the 35 or so. So in theory, this should work. Unfortunately, it's not up to us what our kicker does. So that time it worked out. However, sometimes your guy just misses and there's nothing you can do about it. She's up. She's good. We're still down by eight, though. The defense just intercepted the ball. We got the ball back. That was on my 30, huh? It says the ball is on our 30-yard line, despite the fact that it was very clearly elsewhere on the field. But that's fine. We're not going to worry about it. Yeah, some kickers purposely take the delay of game. Oh, he's open. All right, he's not as open as I thought he was. We thought it, I thought it was open. He wasn't open. Welcome to the family. Hey, get ready. Yo, Sass, thank you for the follow. Can we go for two after a touchdown? Yes, we can. It's like the strangest stream. It's like the strangest stream to get followers on. Thank you, though. Been lurking for a while, yeah. Shoutouts to people who be lurking. Lurkers are secretly the backbone of any Twitch stream. Don't let people tell you any different. Alright, where we going? Where we going? There's our man. <laughs> What's up, Easy 8? Better believe we're playing some motherfucking FUBA! Oh, he's open! Yeah! Oh, no, you could have caught that, my guy. No problem, kid, no problem. We do it next time. Yeah. No, don't say that like that. It was my fault. You dropped it, though! You dropped it! Did you see him play that off like that was our fault? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, remember to not pass to that guy. I agree. Never passing it to him again. Fucking Butterfingers over here. Damn. Yo, this game's tough. <laughs> they missed the field goal. Nice job. It's only 27 seconds left in the quarter, but that's fine. Minnesota Fats football legend. They missed the field goal. Dodges! We got those! Let's run the ball! Oh, no, we can't run the ball. Now, presumably you're not the only person who doesn't understand the sport of football. I would assume it's every non-American in the chat. And I don't blame you. There's the whistle. We are entering the fourth and final quarter. We're down by 11. But we can make this work. We can pull it back. 
There's always time. <laughs> is that Cody's emote with the hand? <laughs> that emote is way too powerful. I like it a lot. The best, the, the simplest way to describe football is you have the football. Whoever is holding the football needs to advance the football to the opposing team's goal line. They will defend you. They will try to prevent you from doing this the entire game. All you gotta do is get past them. Not unlike rugby, if you're familiar with that. Yeah, Japan loves baseball. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, there's a fuck ton of Japan exclusive baseball games. Like, actually, hundreds of them. Some of them have animation creators. You've probably seen, like, videos uh, on YouTube of, like, a Japanese baseball game with very silly animation. That man was wide open. Can I run it for four yards? Maybe we can run the ball for four yards. Let's try it. Does the hut have any meaning? Not really. That's just kind of the noise they make. Yo, go four yards, my guy. I believe in you! Did he go four? Did I get a first down? Yes. We're still driving. Feels good. Feels real good. Feels nice. Offsides. Offsides. On the defense. Got him. You see, that's why you have to mix up your snap counts. Because we had been snapping the ball on one for several plays. We moved it back to three so that we didn't snap the ball on the first hut. The defense still thought we were going to do that, though, so they, they jumped the line before we snapped the ball, which caused them to go offsides, and then we get five yards for free. So you want to mix up your snap counts. That's what they do in real football. Be unpredictable. I say, as I continue to pass the ball, like an idiot. <laughs> He's open! You dropped it. Nice job. You're a loser. That's all you are. Hey now. Don't be hostile. Hunt, hunt, I know, that's super rude. There we go. More of these, more of these crossing routes is what we need. Two yards to go, we're running it. Third and two, we're just running it straight up the middle. Here we go. We're going to snap on four, see if we can draw them off sides again. One, two, three. They didn't bite. I was hoping they'd bite. Did he go two yards? Yes, he did. We're driving. The best strategy is always to go forward. Is wide open. We're already running out of clips, though. We're running out of clips for the footage, I notice. We're seeing a lot of repeat clips in this game. They only had so much time...
to record footage for this, it would seem. He's open. Got him! Got the open man! We can still come back. We can still do it. Do we go for two like a dumbass? Probably not. We could. You know what? Fuck it. We're going for two. This is a stupid idea. Let's do it. What we're attempting right now is a two-point conversion. When you score a touchdown, you can either kick the extra point, which is easier, generally. You get one point if you get the extra point. Or you can go, you can run another play and attempt to go for two points. If this doesn't work, though, you get nothing. All right, they intercepted it. <laughs> In the XFL, there's like three-point conversions as well. Because we're down by five, the only way to take the lead at this point is to score a touchdown. We intercepted the ball! We intercepted the ball! We got the ball back! We have a chance. We've got a shot! How much time is left? Eight minutes? We can make this happen. Here we go. It's time to put on our smart boy, Big Gamer Pants. Alright, we're not off to a good start. <laughs> False start on the offense is not a good way to start this off. Sorry, we still got this. Dude, there's so much at stake right now. There's more at stake here than there was in Minnesota Fats Pool Legend. There we go, that's a start. Fight! Be honest with you, Chad, I've never felt more alive. Never felt more alive in my life. We can't let Coach Ditka down! We're gonna do it for Coach. Oh, he's moving to the right. Everyone's moving to the right. We're going left. That's what we like to see. First down. Was that a first down? No, it's third and two. Third down and two yards to go. We're running it again. Up the middle. You see this blue route right here? He's going he's gonna to run to the left very briefly, and he's going to cut back to the right and then go up the middle of the line. Yeah, you gotta do it for Brian Badler. Post Brian Badler. Mods are asleep. Alright, we got our first down. We have overcome. We've overcome our incompetent O line. No, I mean mods are asleep in that there's nobody around to stop you all from mashing on Brian Badler emotes. And really, why would they? Is it possible in this game to just run straight for a touchdown? Maybe? I assume there'd have to I assume there'd be a lot of luck involved. Oh, he's kind of open. Never mind. We threw it to the other team. That's not good. Let's see what happens here. We intercepted the ball again. We're still in it. We're still in it. Still in it. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. We're still alive, gamers. This is for all the beans, this drive. So much at stake right now. I'm emotionally invested. Ah, shit. 
We threw it to the wrong team again. It's not going well, chat room. It's not going well at all, chat room. Okay, they have to punt it, though. They're punting. We got the ball back. How much time do we got? Let's see how much time is left. We got three minutes. All right. We're gonna have to make some shit happen right now. Yeah, we can't lose the big game. There's so much at stake right now. Yo, hit him. That pass was eight yards according to the according to this video game. It's second and two somehow. That was only eight yards. That was an eight yard play according to this video game. There we go. There we go. Gotta keep hitting the open man. The clock continues to move every time we fail to reach the sideline. There's two ways that the clock will stop in a situation like this. Either A, somebody gets out of bounds. Going out of bounds will always stop the clock. Or, if, uh, if we throw a passing play and it's an incomplete pass, that will also cause the clock to stop. Like just now, we threw it and he didn't catch it. That's an incomplete pass. So the clock is stopped. Yeah, we get three timeouts. We'll probably have to make use of them. Yeah, and every second and fourth quarter stops at the two-minute mark. That is the two-minute warning. Offsides, we got him. Offsides on the defense. We take those. We absolutely take those. We gotta try more short passes. Short passes are more consistent. Not that time, though. Not that time at all. Here we go. I feel good about this route. This one hasn't let me down yet. He's open. How did the other guy catch it? Well, I don't think we got this one, chat room. <laughs> what the hell happened there? This game's rigged. That's fine. He was open, but then he was less open. They had to punt it, though. I can't imagine we have any time left. We've only got 153? We're gonna have to bomb it. We're gonna have to continuously bomb this football. Ah, shit. Yeah, Hail Mary didn't work. The Hail Mary strat didn't go so well. Looks like they don't know how to pass either, though. Okay, now there's no way to win. <laughs> no, we're down by eight, I guess. It's doable, sort of. You can force an overtime. That's the best you could hope for. There can't be any time left, though. I assume there's zero time. We've only got 26 seconds. That's not enough time to do much of anything. Yeah, we'd need a quick score, and then we'd need a two-point conversion as well. What? I should really get the bury me with my money emote on Twitch. Uh, I mean, we've got it on Frankerface. It's probably the best we could... I think somebody has that already. I feel like somebody definitely has that emote. Yo, nice D. 
<laughs> I hit him in the head. <laughs> I love that that's a feature. It's very good. I think we're out of time, though. We got a first down, but I don't think there's time! Shit! Yeah, we lost. You hate to see it. But you can't run with the big boy. We can't run with the big boys. We hit 56% of our passes, though. We passed for 400 yards. It wasn't enough somehow. We threw 12 interceptions that game. That feels like, uh, perhaps about 12 too many. But yeah, this game is actually super sick. For people who, uh, for people who understand how football works. Oh no, the sound's messed it up again. That's a good guitar when it's, a uh, good guitar with these audio problems, I like it. As far as FMV games, though, this one is a bit less rigged than most of them. Still a little bit rigged, I think, but not too much. Definitely the best game ever made. Probably one of the better FMV games. I don't think that's that high of a bar, though. It's probably not the highest bar of all time. Is what happens in real life when you lose in football. It cuts to the credits. I hope that's true. We can get more cursed than this, though. I know a cursed... I know a cursed FMV video game we can play. It's not sports, though. This isn't a sports game. Here's the... I'll tell you the most cursed FMV game we could possibly play right now. No, Mad Dog McCree is not cursed. This game is incredibly cursed. Corpse Killer is pretty cursed, but it ain't this cursed. Yo, Absolute. I remember them. Yeah, not enough splash screens. Here we go, it's time for Wheel of Fortune for the Sega CD. This is the most cursed iteration of all time. This is the most cursed iteration of this video game that's ever been made. <laughs> we actually already played Wirehead, Big Bang! Hell yeah, Vanna White! FMV Vanna, baby! Welcome to Wheel of Fortune. Let's begin the game. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I got a good feeling about this one. Here we go. How many players? I want three players, thank you. If you pick one, if you pick one player, yeah, we gotta turn it up. If we pick one player, there's actually no computers. Uh that's obviously a problem. Which of these FMV characters do we want? This guy looks pretty good. Oh, I kind of want this guy. Hold on. Yeah, this, this is a, this is this is the way. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I tried to put in my name. I guess we're just Robert. We're just Robert now. Uh okay. Yellow, yellow for the color matching. Here we go.
No, can I just, uh... How do I... Gotta move you over. I gotta move- I gotta do this with player two. For some reason. There we go. Player three can be... This guy. There he is. Here's our hero. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have to back that up. I forgot to make that a computer. Let's back that up. Let's make it a computer this time. Alright, back in. That's very important. It's very important. They gotta be computers or How else we'll be players? here all day. How many players? Three players, please. Also Robert? You want everybody to be Robert? I can do that. Yeah, that's what we had to- we had to turn this on to make him a computer. You want everybody to be Robert? Three Roberts? I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. Even her. She's Robert now. Here we go. This is optimal. Who did we have? We had this guy, I think. This person's name will be... Robert! It's such a weird coincidence that we had three Roberts gathered this evening for some Wheel of Fortune. $1,000 is the top dollar value for round one. Vanna, you scare me. FMV Vanna scares me. Oh no. Also, yeah, if you ever- if anybody knows any of these answers, the feel free to just shout it out. Category is a phrase. Keep in mind, this game was made in 1994. We'll with player one. So these are gonna be like 1994-ass answers. Oh, we have to spin the wheel. Hell yeah, this is some smooth animation! What do we got? What do we got? $300. What do we got? We got a G. No, not G. We got to go for we got to go for T or S cuz that first word is probably its. So we got to go S. S is the smart thing, I think. There are four S's. Oh shit. We're doing it. It's it's as something as it's as something as it's as simple as that. Oh, you might be. I think you're. I think you're correct. Would you like to spin the wheel? I would. Buy a vowel no. Or solve the puzzle. Vanna. Good job. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no. <laughs> what did we do? That was a good job, Vanna. We didn't do anything. This is why this is why I tell this is why I say this game is cursed. Cause things just happen. Things just happen in this game, whether you are prepared for it or not. One hundred and fifty dollars. So if it's if it if it is if it's what we think it is, then T should give us a fuck ton of T's. There are three T's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we solve the puzzle or do we get greedy? Do we get greedy? We, we we should get greedy. We get we can go for more money. We're doing it. Good job. Vanna? Vanna? I want to spin the wheel again, please. Oh dear god. Emmy fails this rating with a party of 26. Do you realize what you've just done, Emmy? You're subjecting people to Sega CD Wheel of Fortune. Hello, everyone. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Uh, H. It's only one. It's as simple as I guess so. There is one H. It's not much else we can do. Yeah, it's a good day to be cursed. This is a cursed video game. All right, let's solve the puzzle. Fuck it. Here we go. Smart boy time. Smart boy plays. It's as simple. 
It's as simple as that. Yes! Did we do it? Did we? All right, we did. <laughs> Fucking animations. <laughs> it's so strong. We'll start round two with a $2,500 space on the wheel and a new prize. Vanna, you're like four colors. There's no room in the color budget for Vanna White. The category is thing. Thing. The category's thing. We'll start with oh, God. Paranoid Hero has just subscribed. Why today of all days have you decided to subscribe? Thank you, Paranoid Hero. Are you... Are you looking at what's on your television screen right now? This is the stream that you've decided to subscribe for? This is the one? $200. Thank you, though. I appreciate it a lot. Appreciate everybody. There are no peas. Bodied. No peas. Contestant number three. It's your turn. All right. It's player three's turn. Also known as Robert. There's three Roberts in this game. <laughs> Garbage apostrophe E day. Is more cursed than Sega CD Jeopardy? Yeah. I mean, the FMV stream, you gotta play some cursed shit, right? We played Prize Fighter. That's pretty cursed. $500. Don't you dare guess correctly. You better fuck up. There are no L's. Body. <laughs> I just noticed Vanna's animation when somebody guesses wrong. Contestant number one, it's your turn. All right, we're up to bat. We're up to bat again. Why didn't they say S? There's an apostrophe. There's nothing else that can be except S. Of course, we know this. So they're going to make us lose a turn or something. Don't you dare! I was making a joke, Vanna! Okay. $450. S. There is one S. Well, that's not much help, is it? <laughs> Chat room, what are we guessing now? That's correct. Uh... What's correct? What have we done? I haven't solved the puzzle yet, Vanna. This game is really cursed. Why is Vanna shaking? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yo, you want W? You want H? M? You want W? That's a deep cut. Here we go. We're gonna- we're banking on W. What if this works? There are no W's. Shit! Chat room, you're fired. Contestant number two, it's your turn. And we gotta wait for these Roberts to go. We have to wait for these Roberts to take their turn. We gotta wait for it to roll back around. Yo, land on that bankrupt, though. Shit. Oh, God. $250. Yo, Peachy, thank you for the, thank you for the tier one. What a guy. There what are a... no Bs. There's no Bs. I better not see anybody use the letter B in chat room. There's no Bs. Contestant number three. It's yeah, your turn. What a guy. What a gal. What a lad. What a lass. Is this us? Is this our turn? No, it's player three. Lose a turn. Lose a turn. Lose that goddamn turn. Trip? Your last, okay. They want an ocean cruise? I want an ocean cruise. You better fuck this up. 
Don't there you dare. No H's. Yes, there's no H's. We can still win the ocean cruise. They didn't steal the ocean cruise. We can still do it. Contestant number one. Oh it's shit, it's, a, it's our turn. Somebody earlier said it might be Mother's Day. Possibly Father's Day. Gotta be one of those, yeah? So we're gonna go for T. Oh, there's no H. It can't be either of those. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. What could this be? Hmm. 2,500. 2,500. Aww. $200. Small money. Still might be day, though. Still might be the word day at the bottom. Let's go for D. See if D works. There is one D. Okay, so it's not day. That's a different word. This doesn't help much. What the hell is this word? What the hell is this puzzle? That was very good. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't need to congratulate me every time I guess anything. Please. <laughs> the way she shakes back and forth. Yo, free spin? Free spin? Ah, oh, almost. $250. Yeah, an extremely patronizing game of Wheel of Fortune. Let's go for... F? T? Let's try T. There are no T's. Damn it! We should have did R, you're right. Contestant number two, it's your turn. I'll tell you what's great about this version of this game is the crazy, like, wait times in between everything. We've only done one round. It feels like we've been playing Wheel of Fortune for five hours. Because of how long everything takes. <laughs> Why aren't we doing vowels? You have to buy vowels. Vowels cost $250. $450. Fuck it up. There are no C's. Yes. All right. We have to survive player three's turn. Contestant number three, it's your turn. All three players are named Robert for people just showing up. It's a very strange coincidence. We got three Roberts gathered together. One of them is female. Don't you dare get that surprise. Oh, I wonder what that surprise space is. $500. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. There is one R. Damn. Okay. What do we think this is, chat room? What does this look like to you? Bender's FMV. <laughs> Don't you dare land on the big money space. No! $2,500. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Don't you even. There are two Fs. Oh my god. I still don't know what this is. I'm gonna be honest with you. Got no idea what I'm looking at. There is one I. There's an I. Oh, now I know what it is. It's finder's fee. I got it. Let's hope this robber doesn't know. Fuck it up. Don't you dare solve this puzzle. Damn it! Gamers. We're behind. <laughs> 8750! Wow, that's a strong animation. There's a $3,500 space on the wheel and a new prize. Okay. So all we gotta do is land on that. The category is a phrase. A phrase. A 1994 phrase. Round three starts with player three. Good luck.
No, don't let player three go first. They're in the lead. No, this is rigged, though. I want that $3,500 space. I want it so bad. $400. There are no M's. Body. All right, we got control of the board. It's time to make a comeback. Here we go. Contestant number one, it's your turn. This is it. This is our moment. Oh, I tried to spin it a very tiny amount. Oh, you can just go again? Hold on. Can we just go again? Oh, hell yeah! Let's just go again! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> no, I disapprove. No! Oh. Can I go again? Sorry. Damn. But you landed on bankrupt. This is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, they got the sound effect, though. Contestant number two, it's your turn. <laughs> What's up, Nab, who does nothing? Welcome to, uh... Welcome to Sega CD Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this game goes about 100 miles per hour. I can scarcely keep track of all the action. Yeah, Pat Sajak's not in this game. $450. It's weird. Pat Sajak's not really in any of these. There are no P's. Like, there's a lot of Wheel of Fortune video games. Pat Sajak's in almost none of them. Contestant number three, it's your turn. Vanna, on the other hand, is in pretty much all of them. I guess they don't have Pat Sajak money, yeah. Yo, disc jock TV. Th Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> Don't you dare win that trip. Lose that turn! Damn it. Eight hundred dollars. Fuck it Welcome up. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, thank you there for the follow. Two T's. No, there's two T's. That's a T after the apostrophe? Okay, so that's gotta be uh It's not wooden. Shant, perhaps? What's a five-letter contraction that ends with T other than... It might be mustn't. Yeah. Didn't. Wasn't. Yeah. It's one of those. Bankrupt. Damn it. Nine hundred dollars. No, that's it. It's don't. -t. I like that. There are no L's. All right. We've got control of the board. <laughs> Contestant number one, it's your turn. We're going to land on bankrupt again, aren't we? What are the chances? What are the chances that we get bankrupt twice in a row? What are the odds? I like that 700. 700 seems pretty good. Okay. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. I didn't know anything? Ooh, that could be. Let's go for, uh... It could be I didn't know anything. Is that a phrase, though? Is that really like a... Let's go for N. There are two N's. Okay. Alright, so that's not the word anything at the end. Yeah, it's one letter short. Yeah, you're right. Nice work. Oh, no. Vanna, please. Vanna, I'm scared. Thirty-five hundred? Oh, we're gonna miss it. Missed it by that much. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Damn.
yeah, respin. I wish we could. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, go for D. There is one D. All right, we're still in it. What the hell is this word? Well, we know that the we know that the second word's not didn't. Then it might be wasn't. Oh, it is I wasn't born yesterday. Yeah, 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 you're right. We need more money, though. Nice work. We have to get greedy. We're so far behind, we have to get greedy. We've got to go for more money. It's the only way to come back. Don't you dare. Fuck. $300. There is one W. Ooh. Nice work. <laughs> I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start doing what Vanna White does. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start congratulating people when they do incredibly mundane things. No! No! Keep going! Okay. Nine hundred dollars. S. There are two S's. We're creeping. We're creeping back in. We're creeping back into this video game. <laughs> Oh, no. Generatically while clapping, we should. Yeah, we should do R next. Presumably if we uh, get, like, big money, though. We don't want to spend that R if it's not going to be lucrative. All right, fuck it, we'll go for R. $600. There are two R's. We've got no reason to buy vowels. We can go for two Y's. There's two Y's. We're getting too greedy, chat room. What's the chances? Nice work. What are the chances this all comes crashing down on us? What are the chances that uh, something goes horribly wrong right about here? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like what I see. I changed my mind. I like what I see. Thirty-five hundred dollars. Gamers. Gamers. There are two Y's. We're solving. We're getting out. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of this puzzle right now. Get me out. Why do they run it? Why do they play the animation twice? <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> For round four, we have a five thousand dollar space on the wheel. Oh and my god! A new prize. Five thousand dollar space. Okay, it's all phrases for some reason. The category is a phrase. Why is it all phrases? <laughs> We'll start with player one. Yes, we get to go first. Yes. I want that $5,000 space, baby. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Could it be? $5,000. <sighs> what do we pick in chat? What do you think? We got 15 seconds. T? Do we go for T? R S T L N E. T is usually T is usually popular. S. Yo, you want S? We'll try S. There are two S's. 
We're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming so hard right now. What is, um... What the hell is this? What are we looking at? That's correct. <laughs> oh, we should buy vowels. You're right. We should buy every single vowel. We already decided to spin, though, so we have to spin again. <laughs> Something could go horribly wrong right now. <laughs> Okay. At the very least, we won't go bankrupt. $900. We might fuck up and it becomes somebody else's turn, but at the very least, we didn't lose our 10k. There is one T. Okay, let's buy some vowels. Let's buy... Let's buy an E. E. If there's no E's, I'm gonna cry. Just saying. If there's not a single E, I'm gonna cry. There is one E. Okay. Yeah, we'll buy an A as well. There is one A. Oh no. There's a distinct lack of vowels here. Another one. Let's buy an O. There are two O's. Okay, now we're cooking. What is anything right now? Uh, what the fuck is this? That was very good. Last word is bastards. You might be right. No, I don't want to buy out. I don't want to buy all the vowels because if we pick one that has nothing, if we pick one where there's zero of them, it becomes somebody else's turn. Oh, wow. We almost hit that again. $300. Yeah, CPU might just solve immediately. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at here? R. There is one R. We're still alive. <laughs> I've got absolutely no idea what I'm looking at. I'll buy an I though. There are two eyes. This might help. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. That's correct. <laughs> oh, it's listings. Oh, I know it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I know what it is now. The word listings, you got Yeah, I got it. We might lose a turn, though. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what it is. Box of bananas. $200. Here we go. This should be the way then. There are three L's. When's the last time anyone said that phrase? Probably 1994 when this game was made. <laughs> Chat room, this is why we pay you the big bucks. This is why. This is why we pay you the big bucks. For times like this, in my time of need. When I can't come up with the phrase, check your local listings. Huge money. Large money. Congratulations. You'll be going to the bonus round. Yes! The bonus round! Let's go to the bonus round. E. We'll show you the R, S, T, L, N, and E in the puzzle. Now give us three new consonants and a vowel. All right. Uh, fuck. Give me my R, S, T, L, N, E. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? You want me to come up with all this? All right. All right, sure. Well, they gave us a lot of it, at least. What the hell are we looking at here? 
That other word's gotta be on, I assume. Friends? It's probably friends, yeah, that first word. We should probably go for O as the vowel. Let's go for, uh, maybe a C? Friends are free in... Huh. Let's go for, uh... H. And we'll do an O. No, it can't be free. Friends? What the fuck? Friends who? Yeah, you're right. Friends who grow... Friends who grow in... Yeah. Friends who grow in what? What the hell is this word? Uh-oh. I got no idea what this word is. Friends who grow in intellectually? That can't be it. Because there's, there's not a T there. Oh shit, I don't know this word. Alright, well. Oh, never mind. It's not grow in. It's friends who drop in unexpectedly. There it is. We got it. I mean, we didn't get it, but now we know. Let's see what you could have won. What could we have won, Vanna? Let's find out. It's a diamond ring. No! We could have won a diamond ring. Could have won a diamond ring, chat room. This is a disaster. Sorry, we got $25,000 at least. Feel pretty good about that. Thanks for playing Wheel of Fortune. See you next time. So yeah, this game's cursed as fuck. Yo, hot credits jams! You run it back! <laughs> You have no idea how badly I actually do want to run it back. The game's cursed, though. I mean, I'd like to, Squeak. I'd love to. However, I definitely don't have that kind of time. I wish I did. It's about... That's about as long as I can stream today. Maybe we'll get back to Wheel of Fortune for the Sega CD, though. We could definitely get back to it if more people want to witness that cursed bullshit. Um, so probably on Monday we're going to play Kingsfield 2, which is actually American Kingsfield 1, because people keep asking me to play that, so that's going to be Monday. Wednesday will probably be Drake of the 99 Dragons, because that happens to fall on the 99th day of the year. Everything else that week, I've got no idea. So... I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for who came out to watch this stream. Thanks to everybody who hosted, rated, subscribed, threw bits at me. Whoever triggered the fucking mad dog donation alert. <laughs> Jelani has elected to host in this trying time. I'm not sure why, but thank you, Jelani, for the host. Let's figure out who to raid. Zallard's playing Animal Crossing. Murphigator's playing Into the Breach. What is... What is Chubo playing? Is that- am I reading this correctly? Beavis and Butthead in Doom 2. He's playing a Beavis and Butthead Doom mod- Okay, we're going to Chubo, fuck it. Going to Chubo's stream. Gonna raid our boy. Gonna raid our boy Chubo. Throw raccoons at him, I guess. Throw a sensible number of raccoons at him. We don't wanna- Don't wanna destroy his chat room, he's a nice fellow. But, uh, yeah. Kingsfield on Monday. Maybe on Tuesday as well. I don't know how long it is. We might have to spend a few days on it. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Bye!